It's time to pack the movies. Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and we're going to talk about Star Wars. With us is our good friend Xander. Hello, Xander. Hey, how's it going, Tony from Hack the Movies? How's it going, Xander? <sighs> it's been such a long time since we've hung out. I know. You, Xander was my best friend in an episode of Siphon Filter and Friends. Was your best friend, yeah. We did talk about Siphon Filter, and we also talked about some Star Wars games. We did, we did, we did. So, Jedi Power and Battle. We're going to talk more about Star Wars today. You like Star Wars, I assume? Yeah, I said, Tony, if you're ever going to do an episode about Star Wars, I need to be there. To talk yes, about it. yes, and Johanna's here because Ryan Johnson ruined a whole generation of women. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> to learn more about I'm, that, watch my the peg. Here too. <laughs> to learn more about her stupid tattoo, go to Peg Warmers and watch her episode Attack of the Porgs, or just go to my Twitter. It's right there, pinned, <sighs> and Ryan Johnson's talking in there with me. <laughs> oh yeah, because he replied to your mm -hmm. thing about the tattoo. That's thanks so to him because he tried to troll, and Ryan just completely ignored him and just yeah. talked with me. <laughs> your efforts to undermine your co-host only lifts them up. I know, it really, <laughs> really pisses me off. It's been happening this, a lot recently. <laughs> Ryan Johnson gives you attention. Crystal, I love Ryan. Crystal gets a shout out at the Royal Rumble. What do I get? Yeah. I get nothing. You get a review of the Book of Boba Fett with, oh, with your best what friend from Siphon Filter. All right, so before before we uh, get into this show, yes. what, what are your guys' thoughts on the current Star Wars television programs because i've only watched rebels and then the live action ones i've not watched i've seen clone wars i've not watched the new clone wars okay. or the bad batch but how do you feel about disney pluses and their tv stuff what do you think i think it's fine um you know boba fett wasn't what i wanted but overall it's fine after you know everything that happened in like in theaters yeah you know i like the one-off you know movies i even thought that solo was okay the TV shows have been a lot closer to probably what I would have wanted in theaters. Yeah, I will say I just for the hell of it, I checked out Rebels. Yeah, and I like fell in love with that show. I'm like, yeah, it's this really is really good. This is really. I didn't watch Resistance. That looked really bad. That the art was, style looked bad. It was rough. Yeah, and it was like happening the same time as Force Awakens, and I was like, eh. I don't know if anything meaningful happened in canon there, but I know there were like, like some appearances of characters that yeah. you know always pop up. But but you know, Rebels like it's in between Revenge of the Sith. It's like a like a year four like four years I think before. A New Hope. Yeah. And I think that did a really, really good job of capturing like the spirit of Star Wars. It had stupid prequel stuff in it. And you know what? <laughs> stupid prequel stuff? Yes. We got to uh, get into that. Yes, yes. <laughs> I will say, I will say, because I never wanted to watch Clone Wars. Okay. But I really liked Rebels and they kept referencing Clone Wars. And I was like, fine, I'll go back. Did you and watch Rebels before you watch Clone Wars? Yes, I did. Are you serious? I didn't realize they were that mm -hmm. closely connected. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't Absolutely. know yet. I didn't know about Dave Filoni or oh, Fellini. Okay. Really? You never watched Definitely. it on like Cartoon Network? Like, Did you watch the movie when it came out in theaters? I didn't watch in when it came out in theaters. I saw the trailer. I'm like, that oh, was terrible. I, I was there, man. I was I saw some it. episodes of the show on Cartoon Network and yeah. like the CG was pretty rough in those early seasons. I'm, rough, like, yeah. I'm like, what is this? But at that point, I, have fa I had fallen out of love with the prequels. Let's talk about it because you're a little younger than us. Yeah, yeah. So, so me and Johanna were like the target demographic for the prequels. They just came out at that time, 1997. They ruined the original trilogy <laughs> by adding bullshit to it. Uh, Define bullshit. What did we it didn't know it was per huh? Define bullshit. What was uh, the, bullshit the Java part of it? dance? Uh, okay, number. yeah, that was really bad. Han Han dodging the thing. That was uh, bad. Yeah. Luke screaming when he jumps off the thing. That was so bad that they actually went back and changed it back in later releases. extra yeah. CGI that didn't need to be in it. Okay. Like, yeah, how okay. It, how it ruins the pacing of Fair A New enough. Hope. I did like that they replaced like the whoever played the emperor in those in the original cut with mm. like the new Oh, version. that wasn't in 1997 yet. That wasn't until the DVD release in oh, 2004. Gotcha, gotcha. But even there's then, like, few, there's been a few iterations. But even yeah. then, they like he looks like the Revenge of the Sith Emperor, not like the Return of the Jedi. I think Emperor. they filmed them at the same time. Yeah, they were like they, they obviously while did. you're in makeup, you know. But then they here. changed like his line of dialogue. They yeah. You know, they changed Boba Fett's voice. As you wish. As you wish. 
I was okay with that for continuity purposes, but oh, yeah, but I hate that continuity. So yeah, so me and Joanna, like we're like we were like ten or eleven when Phantom Menace came out. Yeah, and we kind of went through the same thing where we loved it because it was new Star Wars. We were kids too. Oh we my god, like, oh. Darth Maul! He has a double lightsaber and he does twists yeah. and spins and flips. Oh look, he got cut in half, but then they bring him back. Yeah, so then we really really liked it, and then as we got older, we're like, hey, you know what? It's not. A- it's not as good as the original ones. There's some good stuff in the there. The pod racing's fun. Yeah, the pod racing's fine. And then you get a little older. And you see how like the original trilogy holds up and you go back and you're like, yo, those prequels fucking suck. <laughs> like, this, everything st- looks like... <laughs> no, I still will stand up forever for Return of the Sith. <laughs> Revenge oh, of the Sith. Yeah, Revenge of the Sith is I great. love Revenge of the Sith. I don't care. I binge, the other two, not so much, mm, but... I binged the prequels recently. What, and what's your favorite thing? Age pa- the worst. Yeah. What's your favorite thing uh, Padme does in Revenge of the Sith? Is it when she sits on the couch or when she sits on the couch? I think one time she sits on a chair. Yeah. And the other time she sits on the couch. She's yeah. pregnant. <laughs> also, what, what, the line, uh, so this is how democracy dies. Yeah, that's Thunderous a applause. That's you know what's a great that's line? A line? Only Sith steal in absolutes. Yeah. And then meanwhile. <laughs> you know what you know, you know what the problem with that is? What that, is the problem with that? That's a fucking absolute statement. So many people quote that as if it's great. I'm like, guys, right. dude. But it's not even like George Lucas was so clever and he meant that. It's like, no, yeah. it's just not a very good writer. Well, that also this, happens again in this series. That's There's an true. absolute. I'm like, are you fucking kidding yeah. me? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just like, only a Sith deals in absolutes. I'm like, well, first off, I'm pretty sure there's like other things in the Star Wars universe, but right. like, but only is a statement it's that so you just made, yeah. you asshole. I hate the Jedi. <laughs> it's remember, like remember almost when, an oxymoron, yeah. Remember when Obi Wan was like, "Don't try it, Anakin. I have the high ground." It's like, I mean, Darth Vader, a ha- uh, Darth Maul had the high ground. You took care of him pretty well. Yeah, right. <laughs> but he didn't have Qui Gon's lightsaber. That's <laughs> oh, that's right. Saying. That's, that's right. true. <laughs> so yeah, we we basically you know, and then Plankett put out their stuff and. Yeah, so we kind of fell out of love with the prequels. And it made me, actually, me not liking the prequels anymore made me appreciate the original trilogy a lot more for how it held up. Now, what was your thoughts on the prequels? I feel like a lot of fans, you know, even like my age, like grew up like seeing the hatred of the prequels and like going, yeah, they are kind of bad. They're really corny and awful. But then like you, you grow up a little bit and you kind of fall back in love with them a little bit in a strange way. You're like, yeah, I grew up with these and like they're a lot of fun and like, (laughs) There are some like parallels, poetry, you might say, between oh, it's the like old poetry ones it and rhymes. the new ones. Cut to, the, cut to the clip of George Lucas saying it's like poetry, it rhymes. Again, it's like poetry, so if they rhyme. Yeah, and Jar Jar is the key to all of this. <laughs> you know, it's there's a lot of really good bits in there, and like post George Lucas era, you know, is just not the same in my opinion. Yeah, I feel like so like the prequels. They were just cash grabs. He was running out of toys to sell. Well, the, uh, and he the needed to make movies to sell more toys. Uh, and sell terrifying candy. <laughs> and terrifying candy. Remember the tongue with Jar yeah, Jar? Yeah, yeah. Not going to lie, though, that lollipop was delicious. And oh I remember God. it. Well, that's the weird strawberry. thing. Because people are always like, Disney just cares about money. I'm like, yeah, so did Lucas. Like, yeah. why? Do you think he had just like the story he wanted to tell? He's like, oh shit, I've been selling the same shit for 20 years. I got to make some new shit to sell. I know he did want to call the original Star Wars episode four. Yeah, but you know, so there, and was, that was there a, was intention. That was a cool idea. It's like, oh, that's cool. We're seeing like yeah. a little bit of a glimpse of a bigger story, and then you see the rest of the story, and you're like, I'm fine with just the three chapters. I'm good with that. And if you look <laughs> at like extended universe ideas of like you know only in the original trilogy era, like what the Clone Wars was supposed to be, it was comp- like the writers of comics at that point had no idea what was coming. You know? Yeah, I mean, with I mean, we Camino can look it up and... in the uh, Star Wars Encyclopedia. Oh my god! <laughs> Do they have oh my the Clone god. Wars? Wait, is that updated? It's oh no! This is pre. This is um. That's legends now. Timothy Zahn does the introduction. Yeah, this is definitely legends. This is oh, what year is this? Hold on, I'll find out. It's in the front. I know it's in the front. <laughs> Nineteen ninety-eight. Okay. So this is as they're making wow. the prequels. Wow. Okay. But uh, let's see if they have what a clone is, because this is relevant. Do they to- have the? The, the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise in there. You know what? I don't think it does. <laughs> is that still a thing? It's not a story that the Jedi would tell you. Is that still a thing in our Slack chat where we if we say Star Wars? Oh, that's up? hilarious, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, clone Keepers, a name given to the scientists in attendance responsible for Emperor Palpatine's clone vats on the planet. Oh, yeah, because the original legends... Is yeah, that the book that J.J. Abrams was reading when he wrote, when he, when he wrote Rise <laughs> of Skywalker? Here we go, Skywalker. Clone Wars. This is 
This is the shortest thing in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A terrible series of conflicts that occurred sometime before the Battle of Yavin. The war produced such heroes as Bail Organa, Anakin Skywalker, and General Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's all you got. That's kind of cool, though. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool that they were able to, like, bring it all back, but I, yeah. I, I get it. You don't have it. to show everything. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, Let us know how you really feel. So, so, so you still love the prequels. I like the prequels a lot. You know, two is the campiest. You know, yeah. definitely. I mean, it's aged the most poorly. Like, I would love to see someone go in and remaster some of it, you know, special yeah. edition style. Yeah. Um, no. Revenge of the Sith is great. Um, no. <laughs> so, so dramatic and just it's like so good. I love it. I love it. It's so much camp. You you have to love it. Please, it, it's Sandra, incredible. do not refer to George Lucas's awful writing of Shakespeare. It is, it is. If you think of it as like a really terribly written Shakespeare film, it gets infinitely better. Remember, so. It's melodramatic. So the first Star Wars was going to be terrible and then is like former wife at the time fixed it in editing. Yeah. Really? Go girls. What'd she do? She like, <sighs> she got rid of uh, uh, Biggs, okay. right? Did she like completely like, not completely. Yeah, there's a whole thing like, in the beginning where Luke's like, take Luke's out, like a whole shit ton of stuff. Yeah, there's a whole thing where it. Luke is with like Biggs and whatnot and he's like, really? I'm gonna go to the Academy. Oh, you're, four. you're talking about A New Hope. Yeah, New okay. Hope. Yeah, and yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. looking up at the sky at the fight that was happening and there's this awful pacing. Yeah, so the girl that's in that scene, she shows up in Boba Fett. She's oh. in the bar. Okay, you're going to have to explain that. Um, <laughs> Apparently. That's Han Solo has a girlfriend they completely cut out. Uh, she just... She fixed that movie, like the pacing of that movie. One thing, I Which is why the special editions are annoying because yeah. then he adds like like Biggs back in at the end and it's like yeah. yeah but we didn't get his intro so this this feels weird I didn't like that they added the scene with uh you know Jabba meeting oh that scene sucks uh, that Han scene's Solo terrible. in it's, the blu-ray versions it's just like I always skip it I'm like this is not it doesn't feel like Jabba and you can make it look like Jabba which they didn't he steps the on CGI his tail. gets yeah but like you can make it you could dress put the Jabba image over that but right. the character is acting so completely different and it's just repeating the dialogue from the Greedo scene. Yeah. It's just really redundant. And it's it slows sad. down the pacing of that scene for sure. And then they green screen Boba Fett into it and his head is like disappearing. Oh, I forgot it's he's there. Poorly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he looks at the camera. Because like Jabba the, uh, Jabba the Fett. Jabba, Jabba. the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt was a person. <laughs> yeah. And so they have Han Solo walking behind him. They CG have him bump over what? his tail. He's like, no, it sucks. I have a Jabba action figure, but it's based off the special edition CGI. Oh, so it's all wow. blue and brown. I'm like, ew. Anyway. Young Jabba. So, so you guys, you guys were disappointed with the sequel trilogy. Yeah. Did you feel personally offended by it? Just short of personally offended. Because I, like I said, I, I went in being like, this is probably going to suck. And I'm like, all right, it's not too bad. And then I'm like, oh, well, it's bad now. Yeah. I'm going to watch something else and yeah. move on with my life. Meanwhile, there's a whole generation on YouTube <laughs> that arose from bitching about Ryan Johnson. Oh I'm like, if I had known, I would have jumped on that bandwagon, yeah. but I didn't care enough. I walked out of The Force Awakens being like, oh, that was great. You know, return to formula. I just can't wait to see it. it was I great. thought it was a little too safe, but I understood if you're paying like four billion dollars you yeah. might want to play it safe on your first outing I'm like you know what they established the characters yeah. we're going to get something a little bit more you know adventurous than the next one and we definitely did yeah God, I hate those fucking things so much there's literally nothing wrong with Porgs at all they're so much better than Ewoks anyway they, they are yeah Hey, they, the, they literally, they're just there. The in Ewoks team. participated in destroying the Empire. What did the Porgs do? Nothing. Yeah, they were a little complacent in that. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the Porgs the didn't seem like they had a side. They took their hands off. They <laughs> they're said, just we're chilling okay with, with those weird manatee looking people <laughs> in the village and just looking at Luke, just sitting around drinking titty milk. Yeah. Blue milk. As you whatever do. the hell blue that milk. was. Speaking so, of, let me get my blue milk. So, Mandalorian comes out. Yeah. What? So, tell me why? Why do you guys like Mandalorian? Please say nice things about Mandalorian uh, for a few minutes, I, and I will nod my head <laughs> and use it for the preview to make it look like I like it. I don't remember exactly the timeline, but I remember when the first episode came out. I was really skeptical. I was like, I was like, what? Are they gonna do with this? I'm not liking anything that's come out. I don't think the Rise of Skywalker had come out. Or it, did it? it was on its way out. It, it came out the same month. Because remember, they rushed out Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. So because they needed it to come out to promote the app and yeah. promote the theme park. That okay. way, uh, the theme park would be just totally full of people all of 2020. Dude, it's so empty there all the time. 
It's I'm, really I'm trying bad. to go soon. I've been to both of them now. I've I been just, to the Disneyland and Disney World. And like, they're nice. Like, there's still people in there. And I love it. Like, I love the bar that they have there. The ride uh, for the Millennium Falcon is only fun if you have people you know. Cool. If you are with other people, they have no idea what to do because it's all interactive. Like, you actually have to right. like, drive the ship. Oh, I've seen videos. Um, <laughs> You're right there. Sorry. There was actually, uh, what was it? It was uh, me and my fiance we were sitting in the back. And then there were, uh, it was like a three group family in the front. And we're supposed to be taking off. The most iconic thing in the Millennium Falcon, what is it? Punching it. They weren't punching it. Uh, and we're just like, pull the lever! Pull, pull the lever! <laughs> I thought it they was, did it, but like... I thought it was the navigation computer that was the brave droid who cared about droids' anyway, rights. And then there's uh, Rise character. of the Resistance, which I am not that big into the whole like Kylo Ren sure. stuff or whatever, but like that whole ride is amazing. Yeah. Like, it's great. I've heard it's really cool. It's yeah. really good. I'm excited but to see that. How often in 2020 did you go to that park? Well, seeing as it was shut down, that's the but that's guess the what? ultimate. I went a shit ton in 2021. <laughs> yeah. That's the ultimate irony. Like, even there was like that video of like J.J. Abrams being like, "I wish we had more time to write." Yeah, and it's just like, no, you got to get it out. You got to be out in December for the app and to get people in those parks. And yeah. then it's like, womp, what's womp. this? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Maybe Everybody we could have waited now. a year. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're just like, how did this happen? <laughs> I do think Disney definitely bit themselves in the foot, though, not having it. Bit so, themselves like, in the foot? That's not himself. a saying. Whatever. That's not a saying. What the fuck? I was going to say in the ass, and then I said the foot. <laughs> bit themselves in the foot. Oh, like, my God. In the foot. Shot themselves in the foot. <laughs> Job of the fat. Job of the fat, yeah. Um... Because they have it for the sequel trilogy. They should yeah. have left it open enough where it could have been anybody walking around in the parks. Because, like, they're having, like, Ray walk around. And just, no one cares. No yeah. one cares. They, what really, is it's Darth Vader. And they walk over and they're like, yeah. And then, like, Kylo Ren comes out. And I'm like, this fucking emo piece of shit. It's a really good viral moment to have your little kid that's dressed as Ray go meet that, Ray. That you're told to go there and right, pretend to right. care. But yeah. I want to see, like... I want to see Mace Windu walking around, dude. I want to see General Grievous walking around, dude. Can you imagine? Sorry. I want to see Davin Fell. Oh, technically now they could have Boba Fett. They could have Boba Fett, but he'll be like really nice. Davin Felth. For some reason. Yeah. Do you like Davin <laughs> Felth? Who's Davin Felth? You know the droid. Ahsoka would be great. To you see. know, you know the stormtrooper in A New Hope that goes, "Look, sir, droids." Yeah. He has an entire uh, backstory. His name is Davin Felt. Did he fall? Is he the stormtrooper that Boba Fett runs into? I don't in know. But if I remember right, <laughs> if, he, if I remember in. right, yeah. actually. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Oh, King Caesar. Ah. That's one good thing that Clone Wars did. Is Oct two in a it? lot of stuff in the original? <laughs> I was gonna say, is, did Ray burn this one, or did Yoda burn this one? Uh, <laughs> Oh no! This is what she studied to gain her knowledge of the of the Sith planet. <laughs> oh my god! I don't remember what happened with. Oh, that, there was actually. a dark saber project that long ago. R okay, um, we'll get into that. Is Davin Felt? No, Davin Felt isn't here. Where is Davin Felt? I think you're lying. Is it spelled differently? Run, George. <laughs> Run, Tony. Oh, Mac it's Louis probably after you. Felt, comma Davin. Hold on. There he is, Davin Felt. When I see that, I say what? Davin Felt. A stormtrooper, he joined the Empire's ranks when he was 18. However, Davin Felt regretted his decision almost as soon as he I stepped foot on Karita, the toughest Imperial, Imperial training facility in the galaxy. Despite his discomfort, he excelled and was one of the few who successfully completed Imperial. Oh, I didn't realize Boba Fett is also on here. Uh, with his, blah, blah, with blah, his blah. helmet on. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Wasn't there a thing? Oh, I thought he had a thing where uh, he told them, hey, the AT-ATs have a design flaw, and he got demoted. <laughs> oh, yeah. He even pointed out a fatal design flaw. Uh, rather than being rewarded, he was assigned to a stormtrooper unit as a common foot soldier and shipped off to Tatooine. <laughs> That's the that's the thanks Watt he got. Twist. Oh, we'll have Matt Mads Mickelson design those as well, oh, and then he'll God. Mads Mickelson will have, will have killed this guy, <laughs> and then that's why he got demoted. So Rogue One fixed it. <laughs> David felt is great. All right, so you guys really like this whole Mandalorian? <clears throat> it, it really yeah. it, it it fixed Star Wars for you. I wouldn't say fix. It, it helped. Yeah, it, it, it put a lot of band aids on. Some and you really like these characters. And... I liked Injarin. I think he's a he's mm -hmm. a good character. In in regards to this, I'm sorry, the Mandalorian. His name's That's Mando. his name. No, it's not. Din Din Jaren. His name is Din Jar. Yeah, Din Jardan. Like what the J Jaren Jaren Din Jaren. 
What words. the fuck? How did like I miss family. that? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Pay attention. Tevin felt is way cooler than that. <laughs> okay. That felt so, so Mando, dumb. whose name is Din. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> so you like I Din? Where I was at. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, Din? he's good. Um, like I said, I was skeptical the first few episodes. Mm. I was like, okay, are they going to get the tone right? I'm expecting Western. It kind of did that like episodic Clone Wars style adventure mm. in a nice way. Mm. It was a little frustrating to see things like see his like ship get taken apart by the Jawas, but it was fun to see those guys again. You know. Support for Hack the Movies is brought to you by our friends at Manscaped, the leaders in male grooming. Their fourth generation performance package absolutely changed the grooming game along with their refined body wash to round out your hygiene routine. Join the four million men worldwide who trust Manscaped for their shower time routine by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with the code Hack the Movies. Hello, Sean from Movie Dumpster. Hello, Tony from Hack the Movies. You, uh, last time we did this, you were not one of the four million, but you have since joined the four million. Yes, I have. And it's changed your life, hasn't it? Yeah, no, no, I don't have the same issues as Leatherface anymore. No, no. Actually, I know it's working so well because the other day I accidentally walked in on you in the bathroom and the light reflected off your scrotum. And since it was so hairless and clean, it went into my eyes and blinded me and I had to get corrective surgery. That's why I'm wearing these glasses. Okay, so you didn't really see anything then. For a second. But what I saw was very nice, but uh, but then I was then blinded. That's how clean your junk's going to be, guys. Okay. <laughs> Have you smelled Manscaped's refined body wash, fellas? The ladies love their signature scent. Are the ladies loving it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> your boys will be oh so fresh and so clean when you start off your self-care routine with the ultimate body wash. Keep the grooming game going with the Performance Package 4.0. You like that performance package 4.0, don't you? Yeah, I so did your eyeballs. <laughs> Inside this package, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. I love the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. No problems with it. Never have an issue. Nope. Gets gets all the hair off those bad boys. Works perfect. The Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a Travel Bag to hold all your goodies. Their fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents. Any grooming accidents? Not anymore. Yes, you're you're a whole new man, Sean. Believe it or not, yes, I am, Tony. You just got to be careful with those shiny balls. You're going to hurt a lot of people. I got to remember to lock the bathroom you door. You got to lock the bathroom door. We cannot afford more ball blinding. Uh, no. <laughs> Cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The lawnmower 4.0 has a 7,000 RPM motor, a new multifunction on and off switch that can engage a travel lock and gives you the ability to turn on a 4,000 LED spotlight on and off when needed for a more precise shave. Oh, did I mention this trimmer is waterproof too? No, you did not. Would you say this trimmer is a shower essential? Absolutely. I agree. The Weed Whacker is also waterproof and uses a 9,000 RPM motor power, 360 degree rotary dual blade system, the nose and ear hair trimmer provides proprietary skin safe technology, which helps prevent nicks, snags, and tugs on those delicate holes. Your holes okay? They are delicate and they are okay. I'm glad. I'm glad. Seal the deal with Manscaped's liquid formulations. The crop preserver, ball deodorant. It works, guys. My balls are very, very well preserved. For before leaving the house and the crop reviver ball toner, for a mid-game ball check. I, I know during the day, I'm like, you know what? I got to spray some toner on there. Yeah, I know the feeling. As we all do. As we all do. You want to you you stay fresh throughout the day. You want to sprinkle a little bit of that ball toner on there. Uh, trust me when I say, fellas, your balls will thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, balls. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code... Hack the movies. At manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code. Hack the movies. At manscaped.com. Keep your balls trimmed, fresh, and clean. At manscaped. Do, do the thumbs up. Okay. So I 
wasn't excited for it. I'm I'm like off of Star Wars now. After yeah. Solo, I was when did little, you check out? Start it was Solo. Yeah, because like I didn't even hate Last Jedi as yeah. much as other people did. I didn't like it. Yeah, but I'm like, all right, there's a few ideas that could have been well. That's right. why I like it. Uh, but then Ryan Johnson, he didn't watch the previous movie. Or any of the other previous Yeah, movies. so he had Rose Tico talk about how child slavery was bad to Finn. And that, it's like, he's a child slave. He he doesn't need this lesson. Don't lesson. even don't even get me started how they completely like didn't use Finn at all. In the, oh, yeah. Like, like the Force Awakens set him up to be like a really interesting character, like facing yeah. Kylo Ren, mm. you know, like standing against, you know, the First Using Order. Using the fucking lightsaber. Using the lightsaber. It is, it is. And sideline him. It's know, kind of disappointing that. They make it worse in Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. Now. It's kind of disappointing that Ryan Johnson took all the characters of color and just gave them boring B stories. And it, it's like, wait a minute. What? I'm like, that seems mean. That was the worst. I think that was yeah. the worst thing that happened that could happen to Finn. And then, like, the Rise of Skywalker just doubled down on making sure he wasn't important. They took away his, like, the, the fact they got rid of his girlfriend and gave him a replacement girl. Well, yeah, and they were, yeah, they were like totally like serving him up to have like the force and stuff. Like, yeah, he was going to be force sensitive, I'm sure. But oh, and then well, they cut it out because yeah. it's a mess. Yeah. And we'll never and see whole, those deleted scenes. Even, like, the, even in uh, the end of uh, Return, uh, blah, 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 the Last Jedi, uh, they had the whole thing set up where like it could be anybody. Look, this kid's yeah. force sensitive. And the, then, I blame the fans for that. And then nothing happened. He's going to come back. The fans Yo, got the broom kid. The fans got way too invested on yeah. who Ray was, which it shouldn't have been a mystery uh, in the first place. I actually like the twist that she was no one because yeah. I was getting kind of fucking I love sick. that. And then they brought up the whole Here's where Star Wars there really were nobody. Here's where Star Wars really got bad for me and yeah. this ties us into our main subject. Okay. Um when the prequels decided everyone needed a dad. Yeah. It's like, oh, Anakin didn't have a dad. Yeah, definitely Shh. not. Well, I, don't, I don't want to get into it. But it's like, <laughs> or, or, or <laughs> someone birth. needed to be related to someone else. Like R two D two, his mom is Padme. R two D 2s mom's Padme. Yeah. that's kind of great. C three PO, his dad is Anakin. Boba Fett's dad is Boba Fett, <laughs> and he has a million brothers that are all Boba Fett. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, so Boba Fett's dad is Boba Fett. I'm like, I'm done. I'm, I'm out. From, I'm from the world where I where like I already just assume that Django and Boba Fett. You know, when I see him in the original trilogies, I'm like, oh yeah, it's just what happens. He's just Bo Django's son. No, He's that was weird. Him. As someone who didn't care about Boba right. Fett growing up, like I don't care about Boba Fett. That must have been jarring. Yeah, I'm like, all right, Django Fett's pretty cool, and it's like, wait, his son is Boba Fett's just a clone of this guy. Yeah. I mean, I mean I'm just gonna paint it green. I'm like, that's fucking lame. What yeah. the fuck is this? Why does he have a New Zealand accent all of a sudden? <laughs> so yes, yeah. I hate Mandalorian. Um, I like Mandalorian a lot. It's a lot better executed a show than this one was. Well, in my opinion. The first season I thought was boring. Okay. Someone told me it was about bounty hunting, mm -hmm. and I got excited because I'm like, oh, if you're doing a spinoff of Star Wars, that's a cool thing to do, like a bounty hunting show. He bounty hunted for five minutes, yeah, and then he was babysitting the whole movie. He became a dad. That show. Yeah, he was babysitting <laughs> stupid baby Yoda, and I decree he will Scrogu. only be referred to as stupid baby Yoda. Ah, that's so sad. Um, but yeah, I thought the characters were bland and uninteresting. Um, I know you love Gina Carano, and you really were excited for a spinoff show, and you agree with everything she's ever said. Uh, but she didn't really do it for me. Uh, Use your anger. <laughs> oh, God. Strike him down. <laughs> you got to turn it red. Bad guys are red. Uh, Bad guys are red. <laughs> Where's yes. the red one? <laughs> So uh, I thought, yeah, I thought all the characters that were might not bland, get down. Who knows? bland and uninteresting. I guess I didn't That's mind the old uh, leg jab where you had to close it. Sorry, Johanna's fighting with the toy. I didn't <laughs> mind Bill Burr. Down? I guess <laughs> I Bill Burr wasn't too bad. I liked Bill Burr. I honestly thought that they handled Mando's character <laughs> no, it, very well. It's just staying open. No, it'll fuck up the autofocus. Put it down. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, yeah. No, Mando, I thought was. We'll bring that uh, up later. Just yeah, that I can beat Tony. Super bland. I didn't care for this new Mandalorian lore where they always have to wear the helmets and they're weirdos. From the beginning, it seemed like, you know, it was kind of like a retcon Boba Fett moment. They were like, this is what we want Boba Fett to be, but we know yeah. Boba Fett's in the Sarlacc pit, so yeah. this is what he's going to do. And then I, wa I recently watched Mandalorian season two. And the whole show, and this this worked with Rebels. Rebels got me interested. And I went back and watched Clone Wars. That probably worked for a lot of people, and Disney made a part of their strategy. All of season two of Mandalorian is backdoor pilots for other shows. Well, that's all this is, really. Oh, and that's what this one is, too. That's what this is, yeah. And it's like, 
I don't like I don't know what the story was in Mandalorian season two because it was just commercials for other shows, one of which got canceled before it even went into development. <laughs> I thought that that like leading up to like the I like I like the, the dragon of episode. season two. Yeah, oh, the crate dragon thing was cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in it. I liked uh, the meeting the other Mandalorians from the Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. And Why didn't she age? Why does Obi Wan age like shit? And she he's it's been in the desert. Sun. He's been in the suns. <laughs> sun. Obi Wan aged too much. She aged not enough. It's bizarre. She, she had her helmet on. Yeah, skincare. She knows what moisturizer is. Exactly. And then Sasha Banks was in it. The wrestler. Oh yeah. And everyone's like, "Who's her character? Is it going to be someone?" And it's like no. she's just kind of there. That yeah. comes up later. Yeah, so then Boba Fett showed up, and I didn't care. because it's he, it, he did cool stuff in The Mandalorian Season 2. I mean, it's just, I don't care for stupid prequel, Boba Fett. I mean, I understand if that's canon, go for it, but I didn't care. Uh, yeah, and then I watched The Boba Fett Show, and finally people are starting to act like me, because they don't like it. So let's get into The Boba Fett Show. Finally, right. now that we've talked about Star Wars at length, uh, it stars... Tomorrow, 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 Tamar- Morrison. Yes, as Boba Fett. Yes, the newest Boba Fett. Diamo of tattooing. Gee, what the fuck? Okay, so he's <laughs> back. Uh, it also stars Ming Na Wen as Fennec Shan. She's so hot. Yeah, she's been ba- she's been backdoored into a few things like the Bad Batch and I think Clone Wars. I'm not sure. Oh, she was. Yeah, yeah. Um, she was on Agents of Shield. She's in the original Mulan. <laughs> Fennec she, Shan. She participated in the, the new actress. Mulan, which. Thanked atrocities happening to people. Um, Rip. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have been in that movie, but whatever. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Pedro Pascal uh, zoomed in his audio over a stunt double. <laughs> hey, listen, I would. That's do a it. real thing. They I show the picture. It. I'm like, that's another. I can't get into the character because I just know he's not there. Like, I just know it's not him. And it's not him a lot of it. I doubt. If you told me Pedro you want was a sweaty on- Pedro Pascal cl- running yeah. around. If you told me like he's matter. only on set like yeah. two days out of an entire shoot, I'd be like, yeah, I believe it. They don't want to say it. the same thing with anytime Boba Fett's helmet's on. I'm like, I guarantee you he's just well, phoning apparently, it in. Uh, filming for the Mandalorian season three is supposed to be wrapping in March. So I'm assuming he's just been busy doing that instead of going to this poopy show. No, I just don't think he's ever there. And, and since he, and I guess we'll get into this, but yeah. since he's not uh, technically a Mandalorian anymore, he probably won't have to wear his helmet nearly as much. But we'll see how he goes. It's about way doing easier that. to, it's way easier to pay someone for they audio and a few appearances. Care, they didn't care about that with Tamara though. He was never wearing his helmet. Unfortunately, it oh, would have been kind of cool to see. Isn't he also filming um, the Last of Us also for HBO yes. right now? Yes, yes. So that all that's probably schedule yeah. stuff. Yes, I'd say then, both um, times he took off his helmet. I felt like it was well deserved, though. We have uh, Matt Berry from uh, What We Do in the Shadows, yeah. and uh, you would just say the IT Club. Yeah, he was actually. That's actually the droid, like canonically the droid that was torturing, We're torturing the droids people. Yeah, the I didn't mind that. I like that. That was kind of funny. Uh, David uh, Pesquezzi as the Twi'lek uh, Marge. Oh, I like this guy, the asshole Twi'lek. I liked yeah. him. He was cool. He's like the the dude, the assistant to the mayor. Yeah, who was an Ithornian? Jennifer Beals from She's Flashdance. So fucking hot. She was in Flashdance and the L Word and Kiss of the Vampire, which I reviewed on the old show. She was so underused. I was so upset. Boom. She's I the Twilight. She be- yeah, I know. I saw. Boom. I saw she was going to be in this, and I'm like, yeah. And then nothing happened. She's the Twilight like, oh, okay. who runs the cantina on Mos Espa. Big old boobies. Uh oh, Carrie Jones is uh Chrysanthemum. Yes. Who is from the comics. Yes. So one of the new Star Wars things I like, because Tony hates everything new. Sure. I don't know what they are like now, but around like 2012, 2013, I was reading some of the comics that Marvel was putting out. Yeah. And I didn't mind them. I thought they were actually pretty good. The Darth Vader a- comics were good. I don't know what they're like now. Yeah. Chrysanthemum, uh, you know, I guess first appeared in the Marvel published number 15. Mm. And he worked uh, to go attack Obi Wan, so we'll definitely be seeing oh god him in the Obi Wan series. Oh, so it's another it's another <laughs> it's a backdoor. Idea. It's another I goddamn you, commercial. It's a backdoor. Can we just tell a story? Can you do what Marvel does and universe. like put put like the thing at the end of the credits so I don't have to watch? Ugh. Oh, we got end credits in Boba Fett. <laughs> we have uh, Job of the Hut twins. Yeah, we have twin huts. They're Goodness. pretty. Funny. I thought they were like stuck together. I oh, think they're gross. What if they were conjoined? Yeah. Nah, I think they were just. Two. I thought they were conjoined. I didn't get a good look at it. I just think. I mean, like, help. it's wrapped, but like I don't know if it's actually like they're conjoined in this wrapped or. <laughs> I love that. Like the people weird. underneath them are like dying. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. it's kind of... uh, and then Sophie Thatcher as Drash. 
she'll probably come back at some leader point of the group of cyborgs now this is funny it's like almost manufactured at this point Just yeah this this new thing where like a product comes out they're like have someone hype up a female character to get fanboys mad and then they can all scream at each other so some guy came out and it's like oh my god she's gonna make so many guys angry and i'm here for it which triggered the other side that was like oh star wars gone woke again this robot girl, she's going to be blah, blah, blah. And then I watched the show and I just kept forgetting she was in it. because she keep was forgetting so, they are the I, They are group. so yeah. insignificant all that of, I just forgot they were there. All of that was overshadowed by the spin controversy. Oh, God. I'm going to get at that. Okay. I will I mean, defend that, actually. That and the very slow race uh, scene on their fucking Vespas. Like, I will not defend that. Like a Bantha. Like a Bantha. Like a Bantha. <laughs> I will not defend that. I will defend the spin. Okay. Uh, and then Jordan Bulger as Scad, a member of the group of the things. And then everyone else, it's uh, people People from older series and uh, the Mandalorian, like Amy Sedaris is there. I just realized she's a princess uh, something from Bojack Horseman. Princess Caroline, the mechanic girl. Yeah, yeah she's oh, Princess Caroline. Oh, yes, she Bojack is. Horseman. Okay, so episode one, directed by Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, he did a lot of these. One of my favorite action directors, mm. especially in the 90s. Mm. Uh, let's see. It's about Boba Fett. He is now in Mos Espa's uh, crime thing, that jo- Jabba's Palace. Right. He killed Bib Fortuna. And I would, if someone gave me two options. Yeah. And I'm like, do you want a thousand episodes about Bib Fortuna or one thing <laughs> involving Boba Fett? I'm like, Bib Fortuna. And I'm not saying that because I voiced Bib Fortuna in a Gnarl Knots video. Oh my God. Hey, you want to be Dark Laser Master? I knew there had to be some yeah. some reason for. I this. did voice Bib Fortuna. I was like, because the the plot it was Jabba's birthday and Justin was Jabba. So. Okay. <laughs> you guys made it. Thanks for coming. I saw they recently put out like a retro trailer for uh, yeah. Boba Fett. You the, made it into the, the last show. Arl Knots. I did. Sean I, got, I got a full credit. You Sean, didn't. Sean wow. said he didn't hear himself, but I think he was in it. I think he was the one yelling. Yeah. Um, yes. So chapter one, Stranger in a Strange Land. These are all like, t- these titles sound familiar. So it's about Boba Fett. He's now taken over as a crime boss, which is something I don't think Boba Fett has ever talked about or wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, and we see uh, the flashback of him escaping the Sarlacc pit. And everyone was like, "Wow, it's like when Patton Oswalt." Oh my, that was predicted yeah, it. That was funny, but I mean, I think we everybody all talked it. about this. Yeah. Whatever, like everyone was like, "Wow, it's just like it." I'm like, "Yeah, how else could like, you write you, it?" Did you watch the rest of the 10 minute video that he made? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't get it right. No, but I mean, <laughs> like realistically, if you're gonna bring Boba Fett back, yeah, which you shouldn't, uh, like, how else would you do it? It's like, of course, it's gonna pan down from the twin sons, and he's gonna dig out. Like, it was a cool shot. I liked it. I thought the cool. I liked seeing inside it and him escaping. I that did was enjoy cool... that there was actually like storm tro- uh, storm stormtroopers in there and everything too. <laughs> stupid troopers, yeah. yeah, stupid troopers. <laughs> they, yeah, I cool. guess I guess we're led to believe that like Jabba like threw some stormtroopers in there. In the yeah, past. we don't really know how they got there, but I'm sure that they were like you know looking for C three PO or something. I'm shocked we didn't see like Jabba's corpse. Yeah. I'm shocked they didn't show it. <laughs> just like he gets outside, he's like touching around. He's like, "Oh, is that Judge's body?" <laughs> they didn't remove that from the arena. Yeah. So in the flashbacks, I like the flashbacks in the show where he's living with the Sand People. The flashbacks are the most interesting part of the early episodes. Yes, sure. with the Sand People. Yeah. So as he's there with the Sand People, uh, going? he's learning their ways. Because they changed it to Tusken, the Tusken Raiders. Raiders. And... They call them Sand People in the show. Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. And Luke Skywalker called them Sand yeah. People, and Obi Wan called them Sand People. Rip. The whole like A plot B plot, the flashback story, which I feel like Lost popularized the mm. whole like telling yeah. the story in the future in a flashback. Back to Tank Boba was not my favorite. No, he's taking back to Bamps. Uh, back to back to Bamps. Ba- we're all like bleh, bleh, bleh today. He's taking <laughs> back to Bamps all throughout the yeah. show. Yeah, I'm uh, back to that thing. That thing seems helpful. So yeah, the stuff with him like, and the I sand people is kind of interesting, like, like living with them, but. I don't know why we're trying to like. They're really trying to humanize the sand people a lot in these shows. They just fill it with Listerine. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> and it's just like, like I get it. You want to humanize them, but it's like if you're going to consider the Clone Wars, like uh, the Attack of the Clones, can it's yeah. like, don't they just this was don't a they nice just steal tribe. women and torture them? Shh, this is a nice tribe. <laughs> oh, okay. Are they one of the good ones? They're one of the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, but in the future, he's uh, dealing with all the people on Tatooine. He hires two Gamorrean guards. 
who worked previously for Jabba I love them. and Bib. Yeah, they were uh, nice. They, they tried made their me hardest. So happy. They tried their best. The yes, babies. and then uh, they were very green. They were very, super very green. green and ripped. They uh, go to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they were really ripped. Yeah. T H I C C. Yeah. No, they were very thick. Like they're walking around like, yo, dude, like Boba's got some dudes on him. <laughs> yeah. So they go to a place called <laughs> They go to a place called the Sanctuary. They're just standing in the background like that was a good old guys. <laughs> they go to the sanctuary to collect tribute, I guess, from uh, the Jennifer Beals. Uh and that's when they get attacked by assassins. Yeah. The, uh, oh, I did like, like when he blew up that one assassin. I thought that was pretty cool. That was cool. Uh, trying to get away, and then Fennec Shan did all the cool stuff. He could have gotten out of the shields with the jetpack. I don't like that he's wearing black. It's I like that they that that's you know the Tuscan Raiders gave it to him. It's mm. like a ceremonial garb. Yeah, it's cool. It just looks less like Boba Fett. It looks cool in just, Fortnite, Tony. It looks really cool in Fortnite. He just looks like a Sith. Yeah. Walk around. I will say I do. Is he I in do, Fortnite? I do miss. How, Everybody's in Fortnite. Okay. I do Except miss, for you. I do miss how adorned his his like armor was. Like he had a lot of cool stuff. And, like, I get that stuff got like ripped off in the pit. Like I'm um, or the jaw was. Well, the jaw, no, I mean I like that. I mean, he got clean armor. I guess in the Mandalorian, they were like take him to a clean armor shop, and then they cleaned it all and made it matte. Yeah, I don't know why he cleaned his arm. Like, he never had clean armor. And he's like, well, what, since I got it back. Yeah. Well I'm just going to leave this dent in here, though. It's kind, of, it's, kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of important for what happens coming up. The worst, I, I talked about this before, the worst fan theory after Force Awakens yeah. was... Mace Windu Snoke? No, no. It was, <laughs> was uh, Boba Fett has a dent in this helmet. And Ray's speeder has a dent in it. She's Boba Fett's daughter. And I was like, that's... Wait, Not wait, wait. how genetics work, you dumb asshole. Dent Jaren. Dent Jaren. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they attack. They get attacked by assassins. Um, you can cut that, by the way. That was bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes, no, leave, leave it. it leave it. Keep it. it. It's okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then he flashes back where he was like hanging out with a uh, sand kid, and him and a Rodian were attacked by a giant monster. Rodian kids were in this a lot. There was two appearances. Yes, Rodian this is kids. this is a Rodian male, but there are Rodian kids. That's true. Greedo, Greedo kids. It's Greedo kids. <laughs> Greedo kids. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess because he saved the kid, uh, the tribe like takes him in. So he's being respected by a tribe in the past and in the future. He's being disrespected by everyone in the town. Uh, so in the next episode, the tribes. Att- so how did you feel about the first episode? The first episode was cool. Uh, the creature thing. Um, I don't know if you noticed this, but it was definitely an homage to the Clash of the Titans animations. It was like an homage to visual effects. Uh, yes. You know, people of the past, I think by name, Ray Harryhausen. Yes. Who did the, uh, yeah. The that animations. was kind of his swan song, Clash of the Titans. He yeah. did a lot of stuff. We and, have Jason and the Argonauts yeah, somewhere. Yeah, so that was kind of like an homage to that. So I thought It that does was, look very similar. It stuck out like a Star Thumb. I was like, that's not Star Wars, but I'm sure it was an, a reference to something. <laughs> I, looked it up. I didn't mind it. I, I, mean, I feel like cool. that's something you would see in a yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. Um, so yeah, episode kids two too, creature. Honestly, I love spy kids. <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> that, that's the Rodriguez I don't like. So the next episode is directed by would. Steph Green. Not familiar with her. Yeah, she uh, directed him. an episode of The Watchmen in 2019. Didn't watch it. And no. The Preacher. Didn't watch it. And a bunch of other shows I didn't know and I didn't bother to write down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in this one, they uh, interrogate an assassin who won't talk. Mm. Uh, but apparently they're not even like the original assassins. They like yeah. took the name of a previous assassin group. So I like that they throw him in the Rancor pit and the guy confesses everything, but there's no Rancor. That's I thought that, I did very much enjoy that scene. Yeah. I was like, no fucking way. Like, did they get another Rancor? Mm. No, no. Just, not yet. They were just trolling. Not yeah. Yet. The fuck's up with Pit Fortuna? Why did he get a Rancor? He's lame. He sucks. I mean, put on a really lot cool. Of weight. But, you know, right. <laughs> I guess it's like we're kind of left to fill in the gaps. I'm sure we'll get back, you know, backstory episodes on him too. Again, he went to go live at the Jawas for a bit. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, yeah, he basically tells him, like, hey, uh, the mayor ratted you out, right? Is that what he says? The mayor sucks. The Ithornian with the talkie thing from Rebels? I thought he was fine. He was fine when he first appeared, and then he, like, didn't do anything interesting. I mean, how much can an Ithornian do? They're pretty. Yeah. Like, rah. You're saying they're docile? Yeah, they're pretty docile. Not going to whip out a lightsaber or anything? I mean, they're also slugs. They probably can't go outdoors a lot. (laughs) They'll they'll get dried out in the sun. Why do you think Jabba was in his palace the entire time? I also just learned that, like, Max Rebo, because he is in that that cantina. Is that supposed to be Max Rebo? Didn't he fucking die? Like She said, Max, go ahead. Do the thing. Play the music. Couldn't that be Max Bebo? Those are his legs. Those are his legs playing 
Yeah, Kevin sure pointed means. that out to you in Peg Warmers. Like, it's super, how we see Max Rebo is not yeah. actually how his body is in the toys. The like, he's got his legs creepy. up there. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, Max Rebo being alive is stupid. Just let people die. Let people die. Not everyone needs to still be alive. They can't have him at the Black Spire at uh, Disneyland if he dies. <laughs> Fucking. <sighs> the, I um, wish he was in Uga's Cantina in the bar. That would have been fun. Alongside DJ Star- Rex. <laughs> I love how Star Wars this thing is like we have to have a cantina in every installment I know. of a Star Wars thing now. I hate it in uh, the one of the remasters of uh, Return of the Jedi, Sebulba. Uh, the wait, Sebulba's there? Yeah, Sebulba's Didn't in he- Jabba's Palace. That's kind of like, hilarious. Like, he's still fucking around? Yeah, like, yeah they, those guys live Not everyone time. needs to be there. Just let I want to see a Jedi out. one of those guys. That'd be cool. <sighs> fucking hate all of them. Luke Skywalker's <laughs> first student in Sebulba. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, so the twins are coming in town. They want to claim Jabba's, Jabba's uh, territory, and Boba Fett's like, nah. A little late, by the way, that they show up. Well, I doing? think Bib was working for them. So Bib, Bib wasn't quite Jabba. Yeah, he, was, right. he was like kind of like a puppet. He was working up to it. Yeah. No, I think he was happy where it was. He was, he was just a puppet, and they were pulling his strings. Um, yeah, let me see. Uh, and then Fett has more flashbacks to the Tusken Raider. Just has more flashbacks. I'm reading the word Tusken Raider. Yeah. And I'm saying it, off. but I don't want to say it because I only say sand people. I gotcha. Yeah. He also has some uh, flashbacks <laughs> to Attack of the Clones. Which he one? does. Okay, yeah, we got to mention that. Yeah, yeah. The big continuity error that just breaks Star Wars and Kathleen yeah. Kennedy should retire and jump off a bridge over it. Uh, they forgot to include the space rhino in the Coliseum when they flash back to it. Unacceptable. Yeah. <laughs> Unacceptable. It's selective memory, Tony. Would you remember if your father's head was lying on the ground in front of you, would you remember the big space rhino? That, that I'm pretty sure if before I, he I'm pretty sure if I'm next to a space rhino, I'm going to remember that more than anything yeah. else. It's not I'm the like, trauma of holding your father's severed head? Yeah. His head's not in it. Right, it rolled out. It, if you look, if you go frame by frame you in Attack of the, the Clones, the head you like see this. a shadow. Okay, even worse, that his head's over there and you're holding it. <laughs> it's weird, he's looking at the helmet. Is he, is he like, oh God, there's <laughs> the head! <laughs> yeah, everyone was so upset that the stupid rhino was gone. It's like, guys, that... There's a lot of battle, droid gone, battle droids that are gone. There's a lot of like, Jedi who aren't cares? there. Who cares, guys? The I don't guy care. That Django just like lights up before he falls. Why didn't, he wasn't yeah. there. Why didn't they just reuse the... It's almost the same. Yeah, I think... I don't know. They just did a background replacement on that shot. I did like that we like got some Django Fett homage moments where he's like seeing him go yeah. away in the ship and stuff. Tied it together a little bit. Yeah, on, on Waterworld where they're making a million Boba Fett. Camino, yeah. So yeah, uh, Fett... In the past, saves the sand people from the pikes. Yeah. Who are fish people. Yeah. Who are running spice. Mm hmm. We've seen spice in Star Wars before. We've heard of spice. We went to Kessel. I've Solo. watched every version of Dune and read the book recently, so I have a very different <laughs> no. idea of what spice is. What is it in the Star Wars universe? It seems like it's a drug or something. I don't know. It's, I'm pretty sure it's a drug. I think it's, I think a, drug. it's a drug. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what it does. I don't know what the effects of yeah. it is. Is it as popular as Death Sticks? Yeah, that's like that. Those are the legal drugs that the Republic wants to sell. You don't want a death stick. I don't want a death stick. Yeah. I don't want a death stick. That's another thing. Fans fans complain about like uh, the new Star Wars having like uh, agendas. Right. And it's like, yeah, so did Lucas. You put an anti smoking thing and it's fucking. In sync was almost in that scene in Attack of the Clones. Really? Yeah. In sync was almost in Star Wars. I forget why they weren't. Really funny, actually. Um, so yeah, he uh, there's a big like uh, train fight because trains exist in Star Wars. This was the best episode of the of the throwback uh, Boba Fett moments. I like a good train heist. It reminds me of a uh, Firefly had a train heist. Oh, Firefly was so good. I like. Yeah, I know you love Joss Whedon. We can't talk about that right now. We got to get back to Boba Fett. Give me that lightsaber. The, tu- <laughs> the Tusken is the Force. Uh, the, the Tusken Raider, uh, you know, warrior uh, yeah. woman. She she was really cool. Actually, I liked her. She was like the coolest character. I thought she was going to be somebody. She, Wait, that was a woman. Yeah, she was played by I, Joanna I, Bennett. I, I honestly can't tell. They all have the same face. She was you she was played by Joanna boobs? Bennett. I didn't see boobs. There I'm was sorry. literally a clear like. Boob silhouette. There was some. St- Dread, I'm going to let you in on a little and- secret, okay? Every time I've seen a sand person, I've never checked what their. Uh, I've never checked for tits or their sex <laughs> organs. <laughs> like, it's never even occurred to me to look. 
Yeah. But good for her then. I like yeah. that whole sequence. She was stunt double for uh, Gal Gadot in Justice League. Oh, nice. And she also played your favorite uh, stunt double uh, for Captain Marvel. So. Oh, you're confusing me with Kieran. Kieran loves <laughs> Captain Marvel. Almost, oh, sorry. She almost has my name. Just add an H. That's true. And it's, wow. You could basically be here. I wish. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like uh, at the end of this, uh, in the past, the Tus the sand people i gotta stop reading you should have did a fine correct and changed it to sand person you should special edition my notes yeah i like that uh they put a lizard in his brain yeah and he trips balls so just the geico lizard just and i'm like i'm like that's awesome <laughs> i love that he jessica photoshopped that or something. <laughs> geico like, did you know you could change you know hanging out of his nose 50 <laughs> percent or more you uh, so that's his way of accepting like, wow, him into the tribe insurance. he like he snorts a he snorts a lizard and trips balls. But I also really, <laughs> he finds the only tree in Tatooine. He finds yeah. the only tree in Tatooine. Yeah. He dreams about, he's like traumatized by his father. I also did like how he had to like train them how to use the speeders. Like a bantha. Yes. Yeah, I thought that was cool. Like a bantha. There's a, mil <laughs> there's a million memes on, on YouTube. Just do yourself a favor. It's pretty good. <laughs> um, wait, was that in this episode the, where he gets the speeders? He has, he has to train them to use the speeders before yeah, they do Yeah, that stole the, speeder bikes. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I like that. Um, so, yeah, that was episode two. At this point, and by the way, this is all written by Jon Favreau. Yeah, I was surprised guy. that I like about every episode. So at this point when I was watching it, you know, two episodes in, I'm just like, okay, Everyone's acting like this is the worst thing in the world. Yeah. And I'm like, no, nah, this is just as bad as Mandalorian. What's everyone bitching about? It is noticeably like, if anything, focused. so like for the whole show, I'm like, I'm actually, it, it's weird. I'm like mixed on it. I'm like, I kind of like this more with the whole like crime syndicates on Tatooine yeah. and how they interfere and how they do all this business. It's just, I hate that it's Boba Fett at the lead of it. Yeah. I'm like, that's not who I would have thought would and, do yeah, this. Yeah, like, and the whole thing too, whatever, like obviously like Disney completely like retconned the whole thing, but like Boba Fett was supposed to be this like big badass and yeah. like actually do bounty hunting and all this stuff. And instead it's just like, Oh, I get to hang out with the yeah. Tusken Raiders. And he, he's like a, he's, okay, like, he's always go. been like that posturing, like this, badass in the yeah, back of the room. Yeah, he's like leaning like on his yeah, This is all like, the hey, show hey, has like, to be. You know, this is all the show has to be. Hey, Boba Fett, um, Davin Felf is over there Get and him. he owes me seven, uh, uh, bleedle Credits. blocks. Uh, Credits. go get him. And then the next episode, Hey, Boba Fett, King Zizor stole my kid. Go get him. They would have just been more Mandalorian though. That's why no, they because Mandalorian different. doesn't have bounty hunting in it. Not anymore. Yeah, it yeah, sucks. They do it in like the fair. first episode and then they forget about it. Yeah. But Boba Fett, the most popular bounty hunter, and then you can have an episode where he's like, oh, those sons of bitches, they hired um, Dengar <laughs> to also bounty hunt. Now I got to beat him out for this bounty. I was going to be kind of mad if they introduced him in this series. Like Boba Fett was already not getting a lot of attention. Then they introduced like, you know, yeah. toilet paper guy. And he's like, I love him. Do you like him? Yeah. And IG-88, like, oh, pfft. IG-88, IG wasn't he's he here too, he's gonna get my bounty, I gotta out bounty him, like that, that's yeah. the show. Yeah. Not, I need to be a crime lord and also really nice to people. The, 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 the fuck was that? If you would, like when I was, you know, waiting for the show to come out, I was imagining like a darker crime feel to it, the, the tone to be a little bit more gritty, but they played it off very like sitcom -y almost yeah. it, like a lot of jokes they know? ended their trilogy with a woman making out with a guy who participated in like i don't know quadruple genocide yeah killed all the jedi young all, and you're, not, you're not allowed to have bad guys anymore yeah. even the bad guys that commit quadruple genocide uh they get to kiss and the pretty girl dad the yeah yeah disney's fucking mm, stupid no. <laughs> uh chapter three the streets of mos espa so the a water monger Lortha Peel, he tells him, "Hey, these kids, these cyborgs, are stealing all my water." And I was like, "Holy shit! It's Steven Root from Office Space." He's also in Dodgeball and Dodgeball and King of the Hill mm -hmm. and an actual modern western, um, No Country for Old Men. Oh yeah, How about that. See, like I forget who this guy is. Honestly, I can't even imagine him in my head. He looks different. Did than you ever he see usually. Dodgeball? Yeah, you know the really make really him play nice Dodgeball. Guy? And he has the glasses, okay. and he has a really hot wife. 
But I just didn't remember him being in this. I just like. Oh, he's just the. He's in and it's out. because of okay. the cyborg people, and you see okay. them, and you're like, what the fuck is this? Right, okay, gotcha. <laughs> I'm, I'm following. Yeah, so in this episode, Fett has know. to deal with the, um, what you call it, the okay. cyborgs that everyone was getting ready to fight over. Le- the the left wing Twitter was ready to defend them to the death. <laughs> right wing Twitter, Twitter was ready to scream about them. And then the episode came out, and everyone's just kind of like, who are they again? Like, I just, oh, wait, this was the guy that was that was pissed off about the yeah. guys riding the bikes. Okay, yes. I remember who it is. Yes. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. I forgot it's, he was in it. But can everyone just stop fighting and just be like, all right, stupid robot people, I don't care. Uh, everyone um, endearingly called them the Power Rangers. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay, yeah. So <sighs> people are like, this is very not Star Wars, and I feel like it is a little bit. The, yeah, because they have the scooters. Yeah, it's like very... Uh, the scooters remind me like uh, the freaking the diner in, uh, what was it? Was it episode two? It was Attack of the Clones, which was also a bad idea. I get that Very George Lucas. I get that Lucas loves the 50s. He did American Graffiti, but that was like a weird thing to introduce that late into Star Wars. And people are like, the diner was there. I I really don't care about the scooters. This is the Mos Espa Utes. They're out there trying to insert their independence. And they're led by Space Joan Jet. And uh, everyone thought she was going to be the girl from Terrace Kasai. Mm-hmm. The, the video game Terrace Kasai because there's a girl with a robot arm in that. Oh, yeah. Watch the AVGN episode of Terrace Kasai. Uh, but she wasn't. Instead, she was Space Jonah Jet and everyone forgot she Jonah existed. Jet? Jonah Jet? <laughs> That's what you said. We're not. We're filming these earlier than we usually do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still waking up, guys. A long time ago in a galaxy. Uh, what else happened in this episode? Um, the slowest chase scene ever. Oh. On their Vespa scooter. Yes, there is a very... So I didn't care about the scooters at all. I was like, whatever. But when the chase scene happened, yeah. that is this episode, right? I, I think so. Uh, yes. Because they, yeah, they get the guy. Again, yes. uh, Django. Uh, sorry, Django. <laughs> Freudian slip. Uh, Boba could have just jetpacked over there and just grabbed He really could have, yeah. He could have just jetpacked over also, there. Also, the back of the guy's head definitely looked like an ass in certain scenes. <laughs> yeah, the Twi' <twi-leaks, laughs> That's yeah. really funny. So the, the, the chase scene is very, very slow. He's like running into boxes like, ah. And it's not even like, it's not even like that's funny. Yeah. That would have been, if it was played for last, like, oh, that's funny. These speeders don't go that fast. And they're chasing each other. But no, it's meant to be this high paced action yeah, like thing. The, and like the music is like serious yeah. and everything. And I'm like, are you, are you kidding Don't me? they run through like a painting or something? It's like a reference yes. to something. Yeah. I can't remember what it is. The it was like, there's like a Jabba painting, I think. Maybe it's that, a painting of Jabba yeah. Palace or something. Uh, so that <laughs> sucks. Um, but also, Fett is attacked by uh, Chrysanthemum. 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 Uh, while he's in the back to tank. <laughs> yeah. You were happy because he got out of the back to tank. I was glad that he got out of the back to tank. <laughs> I was like, finally, we're going to see some. That tank Boba was used too much. Action. It, was, it yeah. was. And I'm like, finally, we're going to see Boba Fett doing some Boba Fett things. <clears throat> he gets his ass kicked. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was, he's like me right He's like too? me right now. He's tired and still waking up. <laughs> like when the, the, like, the cyborg kids come in or whatever, and it's literally just like everybody's kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> like stop doing it. Stop. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're fighting him. Uh, he was sent there by the twins. Uh, they capture him and then they let him go. The twins are like, hey, you can keep him. They're like, we're sorry. We're leaving the Whoops. planet. Here's, Here's a, a rancor. rancor. And Danny Trejo shows up with a rancor. <laughs> He's a baby rancor. Oh. And I was like, oh, cool. A rancor. I like her. So I'm seeing things in Star Wars I like. Yeah. This entire show was like, hey, do you remember this? Do you remember that? It's all nostalgia bait. Yeah. Yeah. Like, literally, There's a lot like, of really what? cool what? moments. What? But I mean, I know it's nostalgia bait, but like, like, I just, I like rancors. Yeah. I mean, so do I. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I would like to see more and of a you rancor. Find out they I'll take it. on you. I want a rancor. Yeah, right. But wait, that, I didn't think that was new. Like, did we not? Like, we all got I that don't... scene in Return of the Jedi when it turns out, like, that weird guy, like, loved the rancor. And he was, like, crying. <laughs> he was, like, really the trainer. He's yeah. like, Ooh-hoo. I remember as a kid being like, oh my God. Like, yeah, I was heartbroken. I was like, I was, oh like this God. poor guy. Grisanton's cool. He had some, like, body mod stuff going on. He had, like, the fists and. Yeah, he's worked with like Darth Vader and stuff apparently, and cl- you know, oh. in the wars and stuff. So he's like, yes, and then uh, the mayor's assistant pretty much says like, "Yeah, we're we're working for the Pikes." Sorry, is this, uh, is this before or after they all declared that they would stay neutral? This is before that. Okay, um, yeah, and then the Pikes arrive in Mos Espa, and then he like prepares for war. Yeah. So while he was in the back to tank, before he gets attacked, he remembers uh, the sand people being attacked by the uh, Nikto gang, he believes. 
Yeah, they leave he, their marking. He goes back to to find them, and they're all he, gone. He goes to the Pikes, and it's like, "Hey, you're going to pay me security." And they're like, "We're already paying that to this." It's like, "Well, I'll take care of them, then you're paying me." Yeah. But when he gets back, they're all dead. Yeah. It's a little bit of a Aunt Brew and Uncle Owen moment. Yes, but yeah. for Boba Fett. Yeah, they won't get action figures, unfortunately. Probably. <laughs> I don't think they are. Yeah. Um, I do like people sell custom ones of just the skeleton. Yeah, I know. That's what, that's what I was, <laughs> come on, man. Where's our burnt? Yeah. Also, yeah, because they also, um, the Tuscan Raiders are also responsible for uh, murdering Anakin's uh, mother. Yeah. And uh, that's a problem for yeah. them. Yeah. They kind of like, that's like kind of their whole, that's like their problem that Darth Vader happened, kind of. Yeah, they're kind of responsible for at least. I didn't really think about it like that. I think maybe they pushed him over the edge. It looks like he was going there, but they probably shouldn't be. <laughs> he was kind of going there. <laughs> they probably shouldn't be capturing elderly women and beating the shit out of them. Yeah, that's a little rough. Were Jeez. they going to eat her? Why do they have her? Yeah, that was. Yeah, I, I don't even want to know. I, I Did I mention this to you? I, I think I mentioned it to my friend, Joe. Um, I'm guaranteeing. Because now that they're trying to humanize the sand people so much, they're going to go back and be like, oh, yeah, Shmi, real racist. <laughs> she yelled at them all the time. Oh, no. She said, get off my moisture farm. And they had enough of her shit. Like, I'm oh, waiting no. for them to do that. Yikes. <laughs> Just wreck on it. She's like, yeah, when uh, when Qui-Gon was around, she beat Anakin. <laughs> Anakin had a terrible relationship with his mother. It was daddy and mommy issues oh that, that, can, that created Darth <laughs> Vader upon retrospect. So this episode is the flashback to Mandalorian season one. He finds Fennec Shan. And saves her. And saves her and brings her to Cyborg Man. Yeah. Who makes her cyborg. That's actually uh, a musician known as Thundercat. He creates a crossover thrash. He's from L.A. He's a musician. He looked like he was from L.A. <laughs> he looked like a musician from L.A. So I don't know if they were like, yeah, we we know you. You're cool. You're, you get to be in this. And he, he was cool. I was like down with that whole thing. Uh, but yeah, the cool thing about this is where he needs to get his uh, ship back from Bib Fortuna's palace. And then Boba Fett says the words, I need to get my fire spray starship. Help me recover my fire spray gunship. Isn't that what your arm does, Boba? Doesn't your arm it does shoot fire? Spray fire. Yeah. This is not a fire spray. It's the slave one, you assholes. I get they don't want to put the word slave on a Lego set. Yeah. I get it. I'm fine with that. It's a li it's preemptive for sure. But the Make fact sure that, that no Boba is now calling his ship the fire spray, I'm like, why couldn't he just say I need to get my ship back? That would have made more sense. Yeah. yeah. And it's like I, I was, wouldn't have upset the older fans. New people probably been like, oh, okay, that ship. In the grand like, scheme of things, it doesn't really matter what yeah, they call like, it, it's but just, it's it's a ship. Okay, I can't wait for Han to fly the Carillion freighter. What's your favorite scene featuring the Carillion freighter? Uh, when they first put the droid in the ship and Lando was driving it in Solo. I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna say. Solo. You're gonna punch it. Don't don't remind me of L337. That's the worst oh, character no. of in Star Wars ever. That was oh. the worst. I thing. completely forgot that existed. That yeah. made me was like the embodiment of with Lando. That character oh basically God. says like, "Hey guys, you know all your favorite Star Wars characters? They're slave owners." It's like, "Well, I don't want to think about Luke as being What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, the Star Wars galaxy hasn't caught up to like giving droids like autonomy 100%. It's like a problem. They only have personality so little kids will feel bad for them when they get shoot by lasers. And like that, yeah. that's like let's let's not put not everything needs like a deeper meaning behind it, you assholes. Just remember Joe. When Jar. I was when I was a little kid, R2D2 got shot at the end of a new hope and I got sad cuz I liked him. Yeah. Cuz he had a little bit of a personality. Yeah. Now if he didn't, I'd be like, "Oh, whatever." You're okay with the R2D2 dying? No, I'm not, but oh. I'm saying that's why he has a personality. And then when they yeah. did Solo, uh, Lawrence Kasdan's son was trying to impress, I don't know, someone in Hollywood. And he wrote this big, deeper message. And it's like, no, I think you missed the point, you dumb asshole. Anyway, Star Wars it is was, bad. It was the Lego movie guys that were doing that movie before uh, yeah. Howard took over. Yeah, and they were probably like, you know, trying to be like creative and do new things. And they were like, nope, stop. stop. Ron Howard, get in here. Yeah. And then he's like, will you let my daughter direct some of these? And they're like, sure. <laughs> Nepotism. Anyway. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, so he teams up with Shand. He gets the starship. I like this little high scene of them getting the starship. 
There was a cool, there was a funny uh, General Grievous reference in there when he's like spinning the. the oh, yeah, stuff. I do. Okay, that was actually awesome. That was funny. When he goes into the kitchen and the kitchen droid, he's like, dee, 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 and they just cut his head off. It's like, it's unfortunate because, like, I think that if you described the premise of this episode to somebody, yeah. like that before, if they didn't see the show, they would imagine something a little bit more tightly cut and like cool. Yeah. They, they just kind of walked in there and like started doing stuff. It wasn't very like. I, don't, I didn't mind it. I, I, I enjoyed this uh i like that they go back to the sarlacc pit yeah which i guess wait 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 this is yeah so boba in his back to tank when he's having a flashback he remembers the jawas taking his armor off this was weird but then he goes i gotta go back to the sarlacc pit my armor's in there i was on board until he was like oh you know what's not in there he's like let's put the whole thing in it yeah, that was weird. I'm like, why would you do that? I'm like, I'm watching there, I'm watching the microphone. I'm like, why is he doing this? No, no, no. I know what's gonna happen. And yeah. he's like, his face is like in it with the ship. Yeah. I'm like, Boba, you're an idiot. Just, just like. I guess he didn't think like, he could like, like, oh, I wonder if it's in there. Bro, you're not gonna find it that way anyway. Yeah, you were, you were in there earlier. You yeah. know, it's got like weird. It's got a like stormtrooper in there, and that's about it. He's still getting digested. And I'm sure there's a couple other Jabba's guards in there. They all fell in there. That's true. Lando was able to get away from the tentacles, but the slave one was not able to get away from the it, tentacles. It was a cool excuse to like revisit that. Yeah. I, I, I did like that they did that and he ended up kind of like closing that but story. Then, uh, so then she drops the seismic charge. She Which, kills. Again, Boba Fett didn't do that. He messed it up and then she had to fix it. Yeah, that's... women fix immense problems. It's a very recurring theme in this that Fennec does everything, which is cool because she's a cool yeah, character. I like but, her. Yeah. yeah, I grew up with, with Inspector Gadget. I remember that cartoon. When Penny would actually solve the crimes and yeah. Inspector Gadget, like yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Well, now like Star Wars is like technically Inspe Shigo was the main bad guy, not Draken. Mm. Nope. What? She's the brains. Never and what? Kim Possible. Oh, Kim Possible. Remember, like Draken and Shigo. Shigo was technically the brains, and there was a whole movie about it too. Yeah. Very no, good, but I follow. I follow that chick. Kim She's Possible cute. I've, I've had a crush on her since even Stevens. Uh, she put out a too. video where she said she's not famous, and I went, "Can't relate." Christy Carlson Romano. She was Belle in uh, Beauty and the Beast on Broadway at one point. Yes. I love her. I got a funny joke in my head that I can't say on camera. I'll tell Good. you afterwards. I will um, get that lightsaber ready. Okay. <laughs> I'm using the force still. <laughs> it's why I I'm like crying. her YouTube yeah. channel so much. It's really funny. Oh my God. Uh, so they once they get the ship, they like go and and like destroy oh, the biker wait, game. Wait, wait, wait. Before oh, that. Sorry. All right. So they do the seismic charge. Show, yeah. Kill it. And then Boba Fett just repels into it. And I'm like, oh, that would have been kind of cool to see. And then he just comes out all gooey. And he's like, Pfft. oh, wait, he does go in. Yeah. And he's like, he not in there. Inside. Not in there. And it's uh, like, dude, what, what is this? Why did you remember the jaw was taking your armor and then go back? Just don't show us that scene. <laughs> it's like knowing that it's alive. He, cl he climbs all the way in there. You know what I mean? Like, no, I mean, he climbs in after they bombed the thing. But, yeah. like, dude, somebody probably has it. Yeah, whatever. And it was Timothy Oliphant, yes. who's one of the only things I like in these shows. He's very Vamp. hot. I like him. He's a funny guy in this. Um, yeah. So in the future, uh, at the which we call it. Oh, you mean the present? The past. He kills that gang. Mm. Yes. Yes. That was a cool shot. You know who one of the monsters is in that? The guy from Birdemic. The main guy from Birdemic. No way. He uh he's friends with me on Facebook. We he friended me after we saw Birdemic 2's yeah. premiere. Have you ever seen Birdemic? I, I'm very familiar with it. Yes. Yeah. So Rod, the main character, okay. Alan uh blanking on his last name. Uh Alan Birdemic. Yeah. Alan Birdemic. Uh he posted on Facebook. He's like, I can finally announce it. I'm in Star Wars. I'm the one guy on the bike who looks back. And I'm That's like, oh funny. shit. That's funny. So he's the best character in the show. Um, second best character. We're building up to my favorite character. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um It's Grogu, isn't it? Stupid baby Yoda fat. We do not say that. Yoda dumb name. fat. Yoda fat. <laughs> Stupid baby Yoda. Why do we keep adding fat to <laughs> Jabba the baby hut? <laughs> there is a baby Jabba in the Clone Wars I movie. Where? Where? Well, where? <laughs> Seems like grunt. You know what the best thing Clone Wars did was? What's that? Zero the hut. Yeah. Yeah, the flamboyant uncle. cousin of Jabba who could speak English and the talk like Truman yo. Capote all the time. He was my favorite character, and then I found out Slice Noodles kills him. That's right. And now when I watch Return of the Jedi, I get so mad at her. <laughs> like, you killed cried. the best character. Uh, Jabba! <laughs> I just love him so much. Jabba the hit. <laughs> That's what so yeah, about. he kills the gang that he thinks uh, killed the Sand People. And then uh, Kristen, Chrysanthemum is fighting with people in the present. And Jennifer Beals is like, can you calm the fuck down? No, no, not even... 
You're amazing. You're so hot. You're so strong. Everything's okay. Just leave. You did your thing. Okay, and then, thanks. Bye. And then he rips someone's arm off. Yep. Which cool. this is the first time officially we see a Wookiee ripping an arm off. Because in Force Awakens, there was a deleted scene yeah. where Simon Pegg's character actually shows up on that other planet yeah. to get the Millennium Falcon and Chewbacca rips his arm off. But then yeah. they ended up not I using it. I guess you're it. right. I guess it is the first time we've seen that. I guess second if you've seen that deleted scene. But if you haven't seen that deleted scene, there you go. It's the first time. So they're basically like, hey, man, you want to like join with us? And he's like, Rrr! and it's like, okay, good. take that for a yes. Yeah, that wasn't terrible. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> um, and then they're like, we're going to need reinforcements for this war. Cut to Mandalorian season three, episode one. No, season 2.5. Yeah. <laughs> Like the lion king. So Mando, whose name is <laughs> apparently uh, one and a half. Oh my god. Mando, whose name is Dejardin. Dejar uh, <laughs> he uh he's he kills some bounty or whatever, and he's on the 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 I halo. Can, it, I can either take you in warm yeah, or, or I can cold take you in cold. I can bring you in warm. Or I can bring you in cold. Which is funny, now he says, I can take you in warmer, I can take you in cold, but now he doesn't have the carbon freezing chamber in his ship, so he really means he's just going to kill you this time. Yes. Which is kind of cool. And then he cuts a guy's head off. And he slices him in half. And he's having trouble with the, the dark saber. Which is, I thought that the, the setup for this scene, this was uh, directed by uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, actually, yes. this episode. Nepotism. And, yeah, well, there's that too, but she did a really good job with it. Yeah, it's really and good. The, 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 um, those were all Tauntaun meat things hanging there that was funny and um they took that from the concept art for uh 1313 the canceled boba fett oh video game. right so they run through that, that would have been cool to scene. see yeah just just make that yeah well <laughs> Stop you know, wasting when, our time when with film was bought you know they just kind of canceled that guy but yeah so everyone says this is the best episode yeah. uh because it it's is. basically an episode of mandalorian but i hate mandalorian so i just didn't Do you care. like him better than boba fett though i just don't care for either to be honest mm. What would they have to do? Uh, we have to explore this at some point. What would what would they have to do to make Tony from Hack the Movies happy with Star Li Wars? Literally just, there's a guy over there. But that's all. None of this, I gotta save Baby Yoda. None of this, I gotta be a crime bo boss who's yeah. nice to people. Is it because you don't know how to love? <laughs> I love other things in Star Wars. No, 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 no. I'm talking about people. What's not to love? Like here? a connection with people. What's not to love? He's so fucking cute. Look at him, dude. He's cute as fuck. So if Yoda was training Jedi by the time he was a hundred, yeah, when is this thing supposed to hit puberty? Because it's like fifty now, and it's still I would still say seventy-five. Yeah, because I don't see this thing training other. I can't wait till he speaks. He's gonna be like, Dad, <sighs> Dad, Mando, Dinjarin. <laughs> Din God, what if they get? What if they make it like Gilbert Godfrey just to yeah. fuck with people? Yo, like, that would ah! be. <laughs> or Dan Mando. Mando. Oh, yeah. People hey, Mando. So <laughs> I'd be okay with it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the, so Mandalorian, he's talking about the dark saber. Sorry, I just, <laughs> I'm just picturing the outrage of, like, them never giving him, like, a baby voice besides, like, the baby squeaks he makes as a baby. Yeah. Well, baby. Yeah. And then, literally, when he actually has a voice, he's just talking like a full grown man and people being like, what the fuck? Because, <laughs> like, AI voice Luke is like, do you remember other people talking like that? And he's like, you know, we don't know. So he just comes out speaking. Oh, like, I got a lot to say about AI voice Luke. Um, yeah, so he's, but he fights with the other guy to get the dark saber. Cause when you have the dark saber, you fight with shovel knight. Yes. You can rule Mandalore. It's like, why is he not ruling Mandalore? He's a descendant, um, of, you know, the Mandalorian that actually was the Jedi Mandalorian. What the guy he's fighting or yeah, he's a descendant oh. of that guy. Of that, no, no. That I mean, Jedi. I mean, Mando has the dark saber. Shouldn't he rule Mandalore? Like, yes, don't but they have also, to take it back yeah. and like rebuild it and everything? I don't well, think he when really the fuck has is a he getting there. Well, because they were kind of like we're we're hanging out. He's like, I got the dark saber. We're just gonna hang out here as a trio. And then he's like, Actually, I'm gonna take that from you. Yeah, I want to earn it. So and he's like, he, okay, he beats him, and then uh, the Mandalorian lady, she's like, Hey, the did armor. you ever take? Sure. She's like, Hey, do you ever take your helmet off? And he's like, Yeah, yeah. She's like, here, fuck it. Twice. He should, he should be like, he yeah. should be like, hey, you know, the other Mandalorian's like, don't do this. Are we like the weird ones? Yeah. And she's just like, no, we're like the right he's like, ones. Are we a cult? And she's like, 
No. He's like, because they're actually Are from the Mandalore. Like, <laughs> it's like they were actually like born on Mandalore and we're just kind of like adopted, but they don't, they take the helmets off. Like, yeah. what's, what's going on over yeah, there? What about Boba Fett, man. He's got a helmet. He doesn't, he wears that thing barely, you know? No. Oh, well. They rec- Clone Wars said that Jango Fett wasn't Mandalorian and he, he was stole adopted the by the man. He was a foundling. Yeah. I guess he went bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so he he gets the chainmail for stupid baby Yoda. Beskar. Beskar. Made out of Beskar. I thought it was, what did you think that it was going to be before you knew it was the chainmail? I thought it was going to be maybe like a helmet. Yes, yeah, Xander, I did know what it was because you guys don't shut up about these shows. That's weird because I never posted anything on social media about it. I Not you specifically. I mean, like. You said you. <laughs> fan, the royal you. You plural. Uh, the royal plural, you. Plural, plural you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because fans and the same thing happened with Mandalorian last year. I knew everything that happened before I watched it. So yeah, he's making the best car. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be the chainmail. Everyone posted pictures of it. Everyone. Nobody cared about spoilers. I feel like for the show, they were like day one. It's like here's yeah, it was there's all the over gift. Twitter. Yeah, yeah, like no one had any respect for it. Yeah, which is fine. You know, um, I saw you being nice though. You're like, can I, I like, post art yet? Yeah, and I didn't for a whole week. Mm-hmm. I waited for the finale episode to post my artwork. And I said, I draw Star Wars artwork. I said, uh, don't don't draw that. Yeah. I, I said, said draw something what? from Roadhouse. It's like a way better movie. It's only never seen it. It's only one movie. The sequel doesn't exist, and it's like the best movie ever made. I think you'll really like it. Um, be- way better than Star Wars. Oh um, yeah. So what else is he doing? He's training. Uh, what else? Well, happened? then he's kicked out of the uh, the group, the Mandalorians. Oh, then he goes to Tatooine. Off. And Princess Caroline's like, I found that stupid ship from Naboo that people now suddenly pretend to like. I like her character more in this show than I did in The Mandalorian. Yeah, she's better in this. Yeah. Uh, She also, like, had sex with a Jawa. (laughs) That was pretty funny, actually. They're, like, furry. (laughs) Like, I'm like, all right. I'm like, now I'm watching. I'm like, can we just get a show with her? I feel like there's a lot more interesting things going on They made her character super dimensional, I felt like. I was like, (laughs) okay, I'm okay with her being around. She's pretty funny. So yeah, she like tricks out the uh, Naboo starfighter. How the fuck did they even get that? That was cool. I was glad to see it. It was a big moment where it was like, yo, it's that thing. And You have a big action figure of it sitting in a box. Do you really? (laughs) Yeah. I'm going to go get it? No. Okay. Darn. Uh, Now this is pod racing. That's what you should (laughs) have said. You should have said the thing. Oh, man. I mean, he basically does. Oh, oh. He goes pod racing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah he, he does. He, uh, Dan. Uh, <laughs> he, isn't that a hockey player? That sounds familiar it to is. that name. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, he gets in the Naboo Starfighter and he's flying around and he goes through Beggar's Canyon where the, the pod race was. And in 30, 40 something years, no one ever fixed that. Yeah. That seemed like it was important. I think the Anakin's pod race was like just the last one. They were like. <laughs> We've seen all we need to see here. Because they, they put that it. thing up there for safety. Yeah. And I assume they're still pod racing and there's no one ever went. The, the Star Wars fans are so easily amused by that dumb shit. They're like, there's it's the broken amused. thing. And I'm like, yeah. yeah, but it's it's weird that it's weird. It's still broken. Making this show must have been like walking through a minefield for the creators because it's yeah. like you can either piss them off extremely by bringing something back yeah. or. But but like a it's a bit. two second shot. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's a reference to a terrible movie, and everyone was like freaking out. It's like it's the thing that Anakin drove. They're like, who cares? Who fucking cares? I had like a long conversation this weekend about actually how important the Phantom Menace is because Qui Gon, the the whole thing should have been called the Duel of the Fates because if Qui Gon didn't die, Anakin would not have become Darth Vader. There shouldn't have been a Qui Gon character. He's the great. He was the original gray Jedi. He, he, it he should have like been step away from the it Jedi. It should order. have been Obi Wan because Obi Wan and Anakin have no fucking relationship in that trilogy. Like, That's why the Clone Wars exists. It, it kind of yes, but I shouldn't have to bit. watch the tie-in yeah. cartoon. Like the movie should have established that they were friends, and they just fucking hate each other. They don't hang out yeah, in any of like, the movie. I haven't seen you this nervous since you fell into that nest of Gundarks. That's Anakin. not enough for me. I need to see that's the really- <laughs> that's, that's such wooden writing, though. It's it's, it's pretty so bad. <laughs> I'll have to say. Yeah, everyone's rough. excited for you and McGregor to come back. I'm like, guys, he was terrible. Ewan was the best part. I no, think. he wasn't terrible. Oh, at he all. was voted it in. Ewan was good. He was not he trying. He was having the time of his life. Yeah, I think he was enjoying. He it. was he trying was to do Alec Gillis's voice, and Alec it was Gillis. bad. Al Guinness. Who's Alec Gillis? <laughs> oh, Alec Gillis is the guy who makes the uh, xenomorph suits in the alien movies. Okay. That would um, be weird if he was Obi-Wan. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing a bad impression of Alec Guinness. Oh, I liked it. Hello there. I Hello it, there. I thought it was there. fine. Yeah. 
I mean, visually, he you looked know, fine. With a better director and a better movie, he could probably oh, yeah, be he, good. Visually, he killed he younglings. Is fine. <laughs> <laughs> younglings. He killed them all. So sad. Wasn't he trying not to laugh? And that's yes, just, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I do, like, camera, I do like I do like him making off. fun of old Star. Like the when they were like, hey, when he found out the second one was called Attack of the Clones, he was oh, like, yeah. that's the title? Like, that's worse than Phantom Menace. Well, I, I yeah. think you just don't like Obi-Wan because he's married to the love of your life. They got married? I don't know. No, I no, they cheated on their spouses together. They didn't get married. Who didn't get married? <laughs> <laughs> no, him and Mary Elizabeth, they both cheated on their significant Isn't others. Isn't she pregnant or something? What? Do you know no. them? Yeah, <laughs> so he's just mad that he can't get her. Yeah, I like you and McGregor's Obi Wan. I'm excited to see him come back. I'm really excited. If you go to my Twitter, it's all I'm talking about right now. I love it's the people Kenobi. that posted the thing, and they're just like, "Oh my god, Obi Wan has Ray's lightsaber." <laughs> Yo, stop! That's hilarious. Um, I like how yes. Pac Man made an appearance in the poster. <laughs> yes, look at the sun. It's literally Is it Pac Man. Really? Yeah. <laughs> So the yeah, next episode, where's the second sun? Yeah. Even though I am bitter, it's not coming out on May the fourth. So I guess fuckers. it's because the original Star Wars came out on the twenty fifth. It doesn't matter. You gotta continue. <laughs> yeah. So Dejardin is gonna go visit Baby Yoda, um, and then Episode Six, uh, From the Desert Comes a Stranger. We get Cobb Vanth, the Timothy Oliphant character. He's uh, dealing with some Pike Spice runners, and uh, he yeah. kills a bunch of them. And he's like, "Don't run Spice around here. I'm the Marshal. I'm gonna shoot you." I'm gonna shoot you. Wasn't the creator of this character like complaining on Twitter about something? Cobb Vamp? Dude, Star Like not getting referenced complain. or something or not getting credit or something. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, no, I mean like the creator, not the fan. The creator of the character said something like kind of snarky. Yeah, I don't know. Did you see that other guy? Oh, who's the Pablo Hidalgo? Yeah, Pablo Hidalgo. Did you see he finally announced, he finally said that they were supposed to blow up Coruscant and Lucasfilm yeah. wanted to let him and then he deleted the tweet. <laughs> yeah, no, JJ wanted to blow it up because he hates the prequels. Why wouldn't they just blow up Coruscant? That would have made so much more. Oh, here's this. Uh, I thought it was Coruscant in the movie. I'm it's like, not? No. It's not. They Lucas, I guess Lucasfilm were like, well, what if we go back to Coruscant? As as the kid said in the blooper of uh, I like, one. I like the, what they had planned for Rise of Skywalker before it was... Yeah, JJ, but which they would have had to have changed drastically anyway because sure. of Carrie Fisher. But yeah. it was like it not saying it was great, movie. but it was a little bit better. Um, I really yeah. like all the art for it too. Yeah, absolutely. So, so we get you know we get this. What could have been? We get this character from Mandalorian dealing with Boba Fett characters, and uh, and then we go to another planet. We finally get like a good character in the show, R two D two. I really like this character. I want to see more of him. I, my my heart was like ah, R two, an old friend. When yeah, I saw this. Yeah, when I watched like these new Star Wars stuff, it's like where the fuck is R two? Yeah. Why is he no constantly sidelined for the stupid ball thing? Everyone's already forgotten. And then they tried to do the same thing with that uh, other one in the Rise of Skywalker. There's that other one, Dio or whatever yeah. it was called. I was like, no one cares about this. I don't Bring even know what the cords. fuck you're talking about. I've only seen that movie. Oh, he's once. got the little uh, like Lego piece. Yeah, he looks. He looks. Yeah, he face. looks like a freaking like lamp. Yeah. Oh, that thing. Yeah, they tried to make that like the new thing, and I'm like, oh my god, no one's like, buying this. R two, sit next to Carrie Fisher's body double with the digital face and stare at her. It's, it's like the Pixar. Yeah, it's like that's the easiest character to bring back you dumb assholes what the fuck uh, so he's there uh, and he's the best character just because he's the only good character yeah in all three of the like the Mandalorian season one and two this he's the only character I like uh, yeah get to your point uh, and then Ahsoka's there to remind you that she has a show coming out um, I like Ahsoka a lot I love Ahsoka she's great I don't like her in this she's a good pick Rosario she's Dawson's fine. a great I pick. liked her in Clone Wars I liked her in Rebels in this she's just not doing do you like her in the Mandalorian season two no. Is the whole lightsaber battle and stuff with the best no. car fight? No, because I I didn't like that I was watching a commercial. Uh, where's so where's cool Ren, that. the Mandalorian girl that she was supposed to look for Ezra with? Well, she was hanging out there for a little bit and then uh, I assume she was gonna leave. And I also, thought they it's were probably gonna be in the show. Like Yeah. One of the ones that they're setting up. If you didn't know, uh in Rebels, it turns out there's space whales that can travel at light speed. Yeah. And Ezra's unique force powers, he can like talk to animals. And he light speeds away out of the galaxy. And then they the Rebels ends with Ahsoka and the Mandalorian girl who's like an artist. Yeah, graffiti artist. Yeah, going after them. But now I guess Ahsoka's here dealing with this bullshit. So, what, um, whatever happened with the Inquisitors? I never watched the rest of Rebels. I think they were all killed. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they were all killed. Rip. Um, 
yeah, so we, we get a lot of scenes of uh, computer Luke Skywalker. I thought he looked so much better than the previous. Oh, one. he looked way better. Like you, uh, you, you guys. And I just mean Mandalorian fans. Sure, Last yeah. season, a lot of people were like, it was so great seeing Luke again. And then I watched it. I'm like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. It and I hate that fine. I've seen it. It like, was fine. It was passable. I was just happy to see Luke again. Yeah. I was just really excited about that. They got the guy from YouTube that did a better job yeah. to come in yep. and do it for this. I yep. will say the digital face is better. They don't linger on it as long. They uh, make sure to the cut only, away. Yeah, the only time I really am like is when he's talking. Because mm-hmm. then it yeah. looks like a video game. Yeah. Which... I'm glad my theory's coming true. It's a digital voice, right? Yeah. Yep. I've talked about this many, many times. Roger Ebert was like a big guy who helped um, the people who made this program uh, because there were like decades of Roger Ebert's audio. Right. So, because he couldn't talk after a sure. while because his throat got f- fucked up. And they did this whole presentation where he's typing and new sentences are being made in his voice. And I think when they brought back at the movies and it, it failed, yeah. he would show up and they would use this voice thing. And my theory was the reason they keep bringing James Earl Jones back for Darth Vader. And the reason he's the only person who came back in that terrible Lion King that I didn't see was because they want as much audio of James Earl Jones as possible so they could plug into this program and you'll have Darth Vader until the That's what I mean, like, the, it's yeah. terrifying. Just thinking about even like the advancement of like the face and everything. Like, is it just going to be no actors anymore? Are they just going to keep recycling old shit? Yeah. Like, Probably not. I mean, actors kind of suck, so I don't mind. I, I wonder if they're going to bring in, like, the same guy, I think, on YouTube. I think the same guy made a video uh, doing the CGI face on the guy, that Alden, I, Alden, whoever played Han Solo. Oh, original. yeah. And it looked really good. I mean, if you watch that movie without looking at him not being Harrison Ford, yeah. it's a really good performance. I didn't even think he looked that bad. I think no, he, he looked, looked fine, but I'm just saying, enough. if you're like... That movie was just that. really bad. They could do I, it. I don't think that I had no I had no issues with the guy playing on solo other than the script he was given. So um yeah, so he's just training uh, it's Order 66. Yes, which is funny because people are like, we finally it's been this many years since we saw live action clone troopers. I'm like, you never saw live action clone yeah, troopers. They were all, they were all awful, smooth CG. They were so bad. They looked good in Attack of the Clones, though. I think the only cool shots are when like they're fighting. Like you see the blasters like flying, uh, blaster shots flying around, and like there's all the clones yeah. fighting in the droids. Uh, but yeah, we cool. see. So Yoda was there. Baby Yoda was there. Who captured him? Who saved him? And we don't why, know. Why did he erase his own memories? Yeah, we don't know that yet. Yeah. So or Grogu show. Yeah, Come Luke's out. Luke's trying to figure that out. I like I did like that Luke was like picking him up and moving him because he's too slow. <laughs> and they're building um they're building the first like you know that the Jedi temple that he'll train all the new Jedi. Yeah, men. and this is something And then Kylo Ren burns it down. Yeah. I was, was gonna say this is something people have wanted to see for many, many years. There were video games about it, and it's like, oh, one day Luke's gonna be like, My my nephew's acting up. I'm gonna kill him and then change his mind a second later. I saw this really funny meme on Twitter. It was about like like someone reacting negatively to a CGI young Adam Driver showing up in the fina- finale. That would be ta- I cannot. Can I talk? We'll we'll just talk about it now. My theory, because everyone likes these terrible shows like you guys, uh, which are more accepted than the new sequel trilogy. Yeah. And since Rebels established time travel, they can just time travel where you can look into windows and yeah. like see futures and whatnot. I guarantee you they're building up to being like, Luke, we're going to time travel. And they're like, look at this future. All the Jedi are dead and women are talking a lot more than usual. And Luke's going to be like, got to stop this. We got to stop it. We got to go over here. (laughs) The X-Men and Doctor Strange showed up. How did this happen? A hundred percent. They're going to do that because the Mandalorian show, they keep hinting that the weird Empire guys are doing cloning stuff. Yeah. So a hundred percent, they're going to be like, oh, I see a future where Palpatine is growing Snokes in a jar and trying to take over the world. Let's change that. We have to go to Sith world yeah, and we have to stop him. And then when they get there, Palpatine sees like putting like a Snoke into a jar and he's like, oh, <laughs> how did you get here? <laughs> I'm building spaceships with red stormtroopers. They're oh. like, not today. And then they kill him. And that way, Ray never exists. All right. I'm Finn, excited for it. Finn can still exist, but he never became a stormtrooper. No one gives a shit about Poe. Rose yeah. died. Uh, and then and then fans will finally be happy. I just wish Kylo Ren got better. You know, I wish that they had like a it's, better. The whole thing him. sucks too because I hate Kylo Ren. Like his whole character is like literally the fucking. Well, world. now he will be but, better. Like, Adam Driver carried those movies he did. That's on what his I'm back. Like, well, now he'll, he'll be better because when they go and they kill Palpatine, 
who's making his Snokes in a jar. Yeah. There's Snokes no Snoke to come out of the jar to manipulate Kylo Ren. I think he'd still turn to the dark side. It'd probably be more easier to deal with. When you don't have a Snoke in your ear, it'd be a little bit easier. I don't know. I, that's oh, what I think they're doing. I think Force Ghost, Snoke, or Palpatine yeah. whispering. I think they're going to do time travel. He's going to look into a window. He's going to see Lara Dern and be like, nah, not this future. <laughs> <laughs> that seems so awesome, though. Wish I did it more, but... Why can't we do that again? We can't. Oh, that's the excuse you came up with. Cool, JJ. Awesome. <laughs> so, yes, uh, Mando, he leaves the chainmail for Baby Yoda. Yeah. And then I Luke is like, plane. he's right there. Yeah. Luke is like, you have two choices. You have to pick either the chain mail or a lightsaber. And I agree. Huh? Only a Luke, Sith deals only? in absolutes, Tony. <laughs> yeah. You can only pick one. Uh, I agree with like the playing reviews and stuff. Yoda should never have had a lightsaber. He should have been uh, so beyond that. Yeah. See, I'm on the other side of the fence. I'm cool with him having a lightsaber. No. And being changed after Order 66, being like, we got to change how we do this next well, because, time. Because like, in Empire Strikes Back, it's like he's so strong with the Force, he wouldn't even need physical strength. Like, and in that's the point of it. And then the prequels is like, he's got to have a lightsaber and fly so we can sell a toy. Even funnier, though, like in Legends, after, you know, Yoda drops it when he's fighting Palpatine in Revenge of the Sith, yeah. they find the lightsabers and they just burn it in a furnace. So, like, he's not even supposed to have the lightsaber anymore. Oh yeah, why? Wait, how do you get Luke Yoda's? What the fuck is yeah, wrong with everyone? It's, it's a little bit of a why does run. why can't he just have a different lightsaber? Like, hey, I made you a tiny lightsaber. It's a tiny little hilt, dude. It's kind of funny. Also, in Rebels, don't they say you have to make your own lightsaber? Whatever. It's the New Jedi Order. Tony. Oh, that's right. In Clone Wars, they just threw them spare lightsabers. They just have spares. They yeah. just make spares. Yeah. And then I back up lightsaber. Like, oh yeah, Django shot the crap out of this. I love that this you've been holding Baby Yoda this entire we're hanging time. Out. Yeah, we're hanging out. So finally, Dejardin leaves. <laughs> That's his name now. Sorry. <laughs> you should have never told me that. Uh, and he, he remembers what show he's in. He's like, oh, shit. This is the, this is the, the Boba, Fett, Boba Fett show. I better get back and do Boba Fett shit. Uh, he goes back and the girl's all like, Fennec, she's like, you got to team up with us to kill people. And he's like, cool. I got sad when Fennec Shan showed up because I was like, oh, wait, we're in a Boba Fett show. Yes. Man. And then, uh, oh, at the end of this episode, I think, <laughs> at the end of this episode, Cad Bane shows up. I'd be careful where I was sticking my nose if I were you. Yes, Cad Bane. I love Cad Bane. Played by Corey Burton, the same voice actor who played him in The Clone Wars. Yes, and he's he's a blue man. Group. <laughs> he, you know, he's really cool in this. They changed his voice a little bit. Yeah. People were complaining about the color of his blue Whatever, he's, he's fine. fine. He's it's old. Fine. He's been in Tatooine, yeah. as we established. Yes. I can change your appearance, Tony. I really like... <laughs> I hate Boba Fett. Well, my lips won't move fast enough for me to speak. I he kills... His lips keeps getting uh, stuck on his teeth, too. You see his teeth it's a really lot. Funny. It's funny. Yeah, and he kills Cobb Vanth. Or kills. He'll probably be back. So what, um, what was that? What? What was that? Nothing. He'll definitely be dead for sure. Like no, he's coming back. Oh, he's one hundred percent coming back. <laughs> That's what I was saying. He's, he came, he's gonna come back. Cad, Cad Bane's gonna come back probably. No, not Cad Bane. I'm saying Cad Bane might come. No, back. I said Cobb Vance is coming. I'm saying back. he's going to. Cobb Vance somehow. They, Cad Bane returned. <laughs> so <laughs> wait, hold on. That, That's the one thing that really pisses me off lately. Whatever with uh, Disney stuff, with like the shows, is they bring back like a fan favorite villain. Yeah. And then they like kill them off. Ben like, Fortuna. Fan favorite. Kingpin. Loved him. Loved him. Oh, he's not dead. He disappeared at the end. Kingpin. Mm -mm, they blinded oh. him. They're, it looks like they're doing the uh, comic part or whatever. Because when yeah. she shoots him and it blinds him, oh. Echo, right? Yeah, Echo. Don't even get me started. I love Daredevil so much. If y'all ever talk about that, have me on. But yeah. Uh, ben Affleck? Yeah, we'll talk about it. Don't worry. Anytime. But yeah, they did the same <laughs> with thing John with Fred and it pissed me off. I was like, no. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> so. Uh, Cad Bane finds out that the Pikes actually killed the Sand People and blamed it on the group. Yeah. And he cares about this for some. He's a cold-blooded killer that worked for the Empire. Yeah, he really did. That's yeah. why I don't like this Boba Fett. I thought the episode was going to take a turn and we're going to be like, the viewers are going to be like, wait a minute, our guy's a bad guy the whole time and we're going to be reminded of how much of a bad guy he is. Nope. Nope. Because like so, Cad and uh, Boba had this like, have history. big thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it like stretches like far. Like the Clone Wars. And then it just nothing. Yeah. So the whole thing here is um, Boba Fett has his army now. 
Uh, and his yeah. And the other crime lords have agreed to stand down and let him take care of the pikes. Yeah. And not interfere. Uh, they're liars. Yeah. Everyone in Star Wars lies. So they're ready to take on the pikes. They have everything they need, but then all the mob bosses turn on them. Yep. And the cyborgs are dying. Uh, and they're very sad. And I forgot they were actually in the show, to be <laughs> honest. Um, Chris Atan is fighting a bunch of, uh, what are the boss? Chris Atan. Oh, the Chrysan- Trandoshans. Chris Ant. The Trandoshans. I've only ever read it in a comic. I've never said it out loud Chrysan- until today. Yeah. Uh, no, those are the Trandoshans. Yeah, they, I love those guys. And they tried to, you know, kind of like earlier when he was, when they were presenting their, like, their, or whatever you give to the new owners of the land or whatever. Yeah. Um, he brought a Wookiee pelt. So, like, there's, like, they're trying to, like, weave in that, like, those two Wookiees and Trandoshans don't get along very yeah. well. I did, like, the practical effects mixed with CGI on them yeah. for when they're talking. I think that's a nice blend. The pikes were, like, a little bit weird with their fish mouth. I'm fine with that. It was cool. I'm fine with I liked that. I liked it. It was better than it being CG, honestly. But It yeah. reminded me of uh, episode one with the weird... <laughs> <laughs> the problematic yeah. uh, owners of the Trade Federation. Yes. Shoot her or something. <laughs> uh, That's what the other reminded me of. Every time I saw it moving, I'm like, oh, it's so bad. <laughs> is that what Cad Bane is? No. 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 What is Cad Bane? Oh, he's those other blue guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. I, I used to know their name when I was like way more into that. Stuff. Much like yeah. Bane from Batman, who was in that movie that I was in. Did you know I was in a Batman movie? I did. It's your favorite Batman movie, I, right? I see you right in the back whenever he's giving the whole speech. That's your favorite, right? That's my favorite. Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. Uh, but every single Bane thing, it's like, why don't they just pull the tubes out right away? Just right away. Just- because it's an alternative method of breathing for him. Because he, the reason he had that installed in the first place is so that he couldn't be forced choked. Yeah, but just pull the tubes out. He can still breathe through his mouth. Yeah, but it's going to be a bad time. Or you. <laughs> 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 From that movie that yeah, I yeah. <laughs> come on, I, I come on, guys. That was good. That was good. Right, that new sorry. Batman movie looks yeah. pretty good, right? Yeah, it looks like it could be the second best Batman movie. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, all hell is breaking loose. Everyone's shooting each other, and then the one cyborg does a spin, and the internet lost their goddamn mind over the spin. Yes, guys, skip the whole point with all the big droid boys coming in. Oh. No, no, that's on its way. No, when he does the spin, oh, they're already yeah, there. The spin is deep in the in the action. Okay, yes. Yeah. So they're being attacked by, I guess, bigger versions of the... the uh, yes, I looked it up. They're, the cars? It's the same uh, manufacturers in the Star Wars universe that created the Droidicas. Oh, cool. The one that Palpatine said disabled the droid army. Yeah. I they're guess they just turned them. it back on. They're like, he's dead now. Let's just... Why did Palpatine not just use the droid army? Why was he so into like... George Lucas was trying to set them up as being like dinky in the first place. So like he was like, that's why he's building the clone army to like replace them eventually and then mm-hmm. they end up replacing the clones by just hiring random people and taking them from their homes when they're young as stormtroopers but uh that's all legends i guess <sighs> uh, story for another time a book oh my for- god you shut up <laughs> <laughs> story for another time god damn you that made me so mad subscribe to disney plus <laughs> coming in 2023 so yes the big droid to cars are there with the shields that no one can penetrate um and yes at one point uh chrysanthemum Chrysanthemum, I said it right. Mm-hmm. Uh, cyborg guy is helping him out, and he does like a cool spin, and everyone flipped out about it. Yeah. But as someone who's grown up with Robert Rodriguez movies, yeah. I'm like, have you not seen Desperado? Fucking Antonio Banderas literally shoots someone by going like this, like he's whipping. That's funny. Like he's hip- hitting yeah. them. The bullet. And Johnny Depp does a spin when he's blind, and once upon a time in Mexico, he hears something, he like turns around, he's like boom, 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 and then uh, a guy has a. This is so much better than Star Wars, by the way. Uh, A guy has a guitar case that's a rocket launcher. Yeah. And when he shoots it, he makes sure to do like a cool split and lift it up. Like, I like that. I like that Robert Rodriguez does that. And like, I didn't mind the spin. Also, like, it's still super extra, but it also looks like he dodged a shot that was coming in because after he's done spinning, you can see a hole in the uh, pillar mm. behind him. It's the same thing with, like, Anakin and Obi-Wan, like, spinning their lightsaber. Yeah, the- no, that's stupid. Yeah, it's, it's Star Wars. It's extra. It's like, like That's stupid. That's dancing. It's because they're both <laughs> matched in their Jedi arts, and so they can't even predict using their Force future telling who's going to strike first and win. <laughs> that's why. Yeah, but that guy was like, Robert Rodriguez should never touch Star Wars ever again. And I, I just retweeted it. I'm just like, have none of you seen Desperado? Also, like Baby Yoda shows up in the in the ship without Luke, which was oh yeah, and R two D two flew the ship apparently. Yeah, and R R four I guess was there, and like R two R two and him didn't have a little interaction. 
R2 should be like, aren't you dead? Yeah. She'd be like, I and then she'd be like, no, bandit. Disney doesn't allow anyone to fucking die. Because in Legends, R4, the one that had the bad motivator, he yeah. was force sensitive and he knew that he had to he had to blow his, his brains in order to uh, you know allow the wills of the force to Is have that their real? way. That was Disney made that non canon. I so think in I Legends, if I remember right, Legends IG88 put his brain into the second Death Star, so he was technically Whoa. the second Death Star. Oh That's mind blowing. God. And then he's Death like. Star? Yeah, and I bet he was like, I am the ultimate power that- Oh god, I'm dead! Uh, <laughs> good, thing the, good thing the Emperor's clone cloning <laughs> place wasn't in this one. It was in his other ship that crashed that Ray's gonna have to climb into later. I, I really hope. I really want to see Luke just open up a portal and see Rose and be like, I have to stop this bitch. <laughs> he sees her wrecking into Finn, like, to save the day. <laughs> And then them smooching for whatever reason. <laughs> and then he sees like the ship blow up with like Princess Leia. He's like, no, my sister. And then he sees her like flying back into the ship. He's like, I guess it turned out okay. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> he sees me getting a porg tattoo. <laughs> yeah. He's, like, he's like, oh, fuck, I really need to this fix this. This is the one timeline. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, they're going to do it. I want them to do it. So I want them just to race those movies. I also like that Amy Sedaris was like, I'm not going to call you Grogu. That's a dumb name. It's like mm. super fourth wall breaky. Like no one wanted to. Yeah, I really related to her there. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're a big fan of Baby Yoda and you wish they called him something else. No, I hate him. Um, so, clarify. He's right here. Dude. So, something actually cool happens. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So, everyone's fighting and shooting. They're hiding behind <laughs> a, a truck for most of the episode. <laughs> Boba Fett pieces out. He spoke for the first time. Sorry. <laughs> Boba Fett pieces out. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, Mando's here. This is kind of yeah. your show. Bye. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> I got to go get my, my ship. Yeah. <laughs> What's and your ship called again? Uh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, why? You why didn't use a ship? Wait, wait, wait. Don't, <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just oh, I think I know why. Okay. So the problem with the super droid to cars is... Uh, droidy cars? Isn't that what they're called? Droidy cars? Droid to cars. Yeah. I'm saying it with their accent. Droidy cars. They are no match for droid to cars. Uh, um, their sound of... The sound design in the, in the show is really cool. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. So apparently the shields uh, deflect their energy weapons and their kinetic weapons. Although I don't I don't like when anything deflects a lightsaber. I feel like that's a rule that shouldn't be the broken. The whole time I was watching, I was like, just stick your arm in there and boop the eye. Yeah. But you can't stick your arm in there. I didn't realize that. So he probably could have came with the ship and just like ran into them. Yeah, just blow the whole thing up. Then you don't have to worry but about instead, any ending of the ship again. Instead, I'm fine with this. He comes back on a Rancor. And I actually like the and Rancor King Kong's stuff. it. You know, he's like... On it literally point. becomes yeah. King yeah. Kong at one point. It's pretty cool. I enjoy the Rancor fighting the droids, although it was weird that the Rancor can survive laser blasts, but a door can kill it. He was an old Rancor. Yeah. This he's is a around. baby Rancor. So I guess that was a really old. strong he's, door. Yeah. <laughs> smooth brain Rancor. He yes. can do anything. <laughs> Uh, you uh, also no. skipped over the part where uh, Cad Bane told uh, Boba that the... Um... No, that's coming up because he falls off the Rancor, right? No, no, the the whole thing where he framed... Yeah. Was I, was, I was going to get to the Cad Bane shit. that was after. Or uh, before, sorry. No, that was after. Oh. So yeah, basically, Droid to Cars, Droid to Cars. Oh. We didn't even talk about how Cad Bane lit that dude up, the deputy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Oh, and yeah, he did. Out you with just, the scroll there's a lot up. to talk about. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cool moments I just wanted to highlight there. Yeah. That was, that and was and a your fa favorite, favorite. Uh, dude coming out with the scroll to read the terms. I did like that, and oh, apparently that it's good. like an old game. It's yeah. like an old yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, handheld game. Yeah. I did like that. Here are the terms. Like, uh, there, Fett go says, fuck yourself. What if he said, like, the sequel trilogy isn't canon? He's like, okay, well, <laughs> that would have been a one way to do it. So, yeah, uh, the, all the Rancor stuff was fun. I enjoy that. Fun and fine. Fun and fine. Uh, don't care about the cyborgs. Forgot they were there. Yeah. The Fennec, I guess, shoots a couple things. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, she, she kind of pieces out in the she beginning. She kind of does a lot near the end of the episode. Yeah. Like, everything for Boba. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Cad Bane and Boba fight. Yeah. And he stabs Cad Bane. With his um, gaffy stick. With his gaffy stick. Which kind of brings the whole Tusken Raider Sam people thing together. Yes. Which I enjoyed. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Uh, yeah. And he's dead. He says to he says to Boba, like, uh, you, you know, what's your angle? You know, you, you're softened. And he's like, oh, I got old. And he's like, okay. Well, obviously, Bo Cad Bane's old, too. So yeah. Doesn't really but I guess he work. ages better. Much like Luke told Baby Yoda, a lifetime for you is, is a lifetime for 
or something. Lifetime for other people is shorter or whatever. Yeah, something like that. He gave him the Omni Man speech. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like, think, uh, I like that the Rancor just goes on a think, rampage. Think, think. <laughs> The, ran- the Rancor goes on a rampage, and then Baby Yoda calms him down and then naps with him. That's cute. That yeah. was super cute. That was good. I like the whole reunion. The way she comes in, whatever, with uh, yeah. Kirk or whatever. She's just like, oh, I got, got you a present, or Luke is here, or whatever. And Banto's just like, what the fuck? Why is he here? All the pit droids are like scrambling onto it. They can't. <laughs> I love it. It, it was really he, like. He force funny. jumps into his arms. Yes. And like, oh, he's back with his dad. And he had the little ball thing, too. And yeah. then he has his uh, his little chainmail on. Yes. He's like, oh, you caught it. I was waiting for him to whip out the lightsaber. I was like, he got both. He's uh, like, fuck you, I have both, Luke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting. And then it ends with uh, them killing the Pike boss and a bunch of the other crime lords. Yeah, I saw the the, the mayor like, with that long neck, and I was like, "Oh, something's gonna happen." Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and then, you never uh, mentioned the thing that I was trying to say earlier but, about how the Pikes killed that Tuscan tribe. And yes, Cad told him about that mm-hmm. for some reason. I don't know why Cad did that. You mean the one that massacred your Tuscan family and blamed it on a speed bike gang? Because he knew he had a connection. You want to piss him off, make him emotional. He's a cold remember, even, uh, Fennec- <laughs> <laughs> remember Fennec even at one point was just like, you're getting emotional. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. He's like, and you're then, a sad And then boy baby now. Yoda, little Grogu, uh, calmed down the rancor. Oh, yeah. I, I mentioned it. And and I, but well, like he like forced us and he's just like. <laughs> he's thinking really hard. When he forced the. <laughs> you the, are not upset. <laughs> when he forced the bolt out of the, the one Droidica thing. Um, he gets hit by it. He gets, I was like, he's done. I was like, he got like smacked and he's like going to have brain damage. Oh, that would have <laughs> been awesome. But he was. I did like the first season when the stormtrooper punched him. I watched that clip like 15 <laughs> that was, uh, times. Who was that? Who played him? It was a uh, uh, dude from SNL. Uh, oh, I think I know who you're talking yeah. about. I forget the name, I though. I what his name is. Uh, Jason Sudeikis. Yes. Yeah, he punched him. So, yes. Uh, <laughs> the bosses are dead. <laughs> Everyone loves Boba Fett because he's the hero of the people, yeah. which I never thought I'd mm. fucking say about Boba Fett. Yeah. Oh, uh, and then Boba Fett. <laughs> that was funny. I was like, "Wait, are they saying Boba 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 Fett?" Boba 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 Fett. By the way, what was the book? Uh, I'm still waiting to. Did you guys see a book? I did not see a book. I didn't see a book. I saw a book right behind your desk there. Next on Disney Plus. Yeah, <laughs> this is a book with Boba Fett in it, but it's not the book of the Boba book Fett. with Boba Fett. <laughs> yeah, what was the book? Is the show just supposed to be the book? I guess so. Remember it was book. chapters with another main character. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. The, so, you know, the show ends, um, you know, as a show about Boba Fett should definitely end with <laughs> the Mandalorian sure. flying away with baby Yoda. I'm like, wait a minute. He's, he's, not- of- <laughs> he's like tapping with the oh, whole yeah, thing. Yeah, because he wants to go fast. Uh, but I'm just like, shouldn't we have ended with Boba Fett? Isn't this his show? It should have ended with him, but it also completely, if you did not watch this and you just like watch season two and you go, okay, I want to watch season three, it kind of undoes. You have to watch the book of Boba Fett. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's oh, like yeah. stuff that you They're using miss. the Marvel formula, which works, but I just don't care about any. We also of it. forgot they actually did kill somebody. Two people. Who? Oh. My pigmen. No, yes, the, the Gamorrean guards. guards. They pushed them I'm off the so fucking cliff. I was oh, so no, sad. Oh, no, but but we didn't oh, see them did splatter. Them. So I'm sure... You heard it. I'm sure Book of Boba Fett Season 2, they'll they're going to be in back to tanks. Yeah, they're going to put them in the tank together. <laughs> yeah. They're all in the back to tanks. They're squeezed in there. <laughs> <sighs> I was so sad. Was there a post credit sequence? Yes, there was. I didn't watch it. Tell me what it is, because I just saw that there was a post credit sequence. What, yeah, that's what I was referring to. Cobb Vanth is alive. Uh, and he's going to be modded by... Thundercat. Yeah. Thundercat. <laughs> yes. Well, that's great. So I, because he was like, oh yeah, like my back to tanks being used right now. Sorry, yeah. I thought it was gonna be Mando. I thought it could have been Cad Bane. Like, I thought it was gonna be Jennifer alive. Beals. I thought it was uh, maybe Jennifer Beals. It was Max Rebo in there. <laughs> yeah, I that, thought that's it was another thing we skipped over. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't bring up, up that they just blew up the cantina. Oh yeah, they did. I'm Cad sure Max Rebo is still alive. Max oh, Rebo's he's fine. fine. He escaped. Yeah. Yeah. He knew. Yeah. He was part of it. No one's ever really gone. They're gonna, as Luke <laughs> says, they're, really gone. they're gonna go in there and grab Jennifer Beals. Is that her name? Her yeah. arm, and like they're gonna be like, yeah, oh, "What's yes, her name?" This the was fucking important. mistress or whatever. I don't it can't know. be. It can't Garza be more. Thwip. Uh, yes. Thwip? Yeah. Garza Thwip. Yes, Garza Thwip, my favorite character. <laughs> it couldn't be more dumb than like the Sith dagger they have to line up. So there, oh my god, a lot of, please, uh, a lot please. Of stuff. I'm gonna have a stroke. Anyway, um, so that was the book of Boba Fett. We usually don't do TV shows, but it's Star Wars. It's new, and fans hate it. So I finally got to hate a new Star Wars thing without getting yelled at. 
because I get yelled at for I my. I thought it was awful fishy. We didn't talk about any other Star Wars concept besides <laughs> this. <laughs> I was like, not on Hack the Movies. Don't worry. Well, we have plans for more Star Wars stuff in the future. Okay. Right. There's a big one coming up too. Um, <laughs> yes, Kenobi. It's a special all about porgs. No, that's on peg warmers. So. <laughs> No, what are, what there's you, a cartoon about the Korgs, and we can talk about it, Tony. So what are your thoughts on Book of Boba Fett? Did it disappoint you? Do you hate it? I It definitely, like, rode the line very thinly in terms of what I expected. I got to see some cool stuff, the reclamation of, of the Boba Fett title, you know, doing some cool stuff. I did feel like these were plot points written during Mandalorian Season 2, and then they were like, let's just make that a show and put some Mandalorian stuff in there for season three because mm. we don't want the fans to be too sad about Baby Yoda being gone next time he comes back. I think but maybe... It was good. I like that. I think they did the Mandalorian stuff because there's probably fans that were like, well, I like Boba Fett and didn't watch Mandalorian, so they're like, we gotta yeah. shove some Mandalorian in there. Yeah. What did you think about it? I'd give it a 6.5. Oh, you guys do ratings on this. Uh, we don't. I'm Apparently she just Six, took it upon herself. Of, porks, porgs out of 10. <laughs> porgs out of 10. <laughs> I thought uh, it was... As as good as Mandalorian season one, and by that I mean it's very bland and boring, and none of the characters are interesting, and I'll never rewatch it. But it's not as bad as Mandalorian season two, which was just a series of blatant commercials for other shows, including the one that Johanna's very upset is not going forward with Gina Carano. Um, Six and a half death sticks. Out of are you okay? She's getting the lightsaber. What's what's wrong? Use the force, John. No. Okay. Use the force. <laughs> Oops, bump the mic. So that is it from us. Uh, I guess, I mean, you shouldn't watch any of these shows, but I, if you're already watching you them, watch go them. ahead. You should watch they're, them. They're better than the sequels, so don't be sad. Are you guys happy I had two people to disagree with me here? Are you happy? Please say something. You hate everything. I don't hate everything. Everything. Fucking, okay, okay. <laughs> I said the new Resident Evil. Yes. Was what? fun and fine. Yeah, it wasn't. Look. It's fun and fine compared to other Resident Evil movies, which really wasn't hard. I really like the new Scream. I put an episode out. I'm getting yelled at for liking the new Scream. You're getting screamed at? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, but I'm, I'm like, but this is like a new thing I like. Like, what the? Why? Yeah. Why did I get yelled at for liking a new thing? I didn't hate the new Halloween. It was kind of dumb, but I enjoyed it. Why? I can't say anything about those. I haven't seen those films. Why does, why does everyone assume I hate everything new? I literally had an episode called Good Reboots. You were you in like it. the Ghostbusters movie, right? Afterwards? Shut up. Xander, uh, I know I just told you to shut up, but where can we find you? <laughs> you can find me on uh, Instagram and YouTube at Xanderflix and oh, on Jesus. Twitter. Sorry, sorry. Can you say that again without the, the store <laughs> falling around? Xander or not on Twitter. Okay. I do artwork and I talk about Star Wars and a lot of Ben 10 stuff formerly and presently so ah uh, yes i do a lot of artwork and i do artwork for um the tag podcast their thumbnails and everything talk about games talk about games tag tag is our in-house abbreviation for it they're, they're cool kids they get it <laughs> you guys get it tag. but someone watches will be like what's the tag what podcast is tag podcast it's just the podcast people playing tag that's yeah. a little weird gotcha. really funny. <laughs> next, next, next episode <laughs> you're in oh no <laughs> <laughs> Game over. Yes, yeah, Sanders great. Uh, check out all his stuff. Go back and watch uh, Siphon Filter and Friends. We did an episode. And then uh, Johanna, where where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter at stuff like hearts. You can find her at Galaxy's mm -hmm. Edge. Yeah, I'll be in crying. Disney. For, no, if uh, anybody is in Orlando and Disney, uh, I will be there. Uh, what, what, what? When is this coming out? It's coming out this week. This week, I'll be nice. the, next weekend. I will be in Disney. If you want to look for me, I'll probably be in Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> Guys, now's your now's your chance. Chance for what? I don't know. That's up for you to decide. Kill me. Find out on Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> find out on Disney Plus. <laughs> I swear to God, if I find out an obsessed fan found you at Galaxy's Edge and like, I don't know, th threw you off the Millennium Falcon, I would just die laughing. How would they throw me off? I don't know. How am I getting on the Millennium Falcon? I don't know. I've never been there. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> oh, you know what the worst thing Star Wars did? Uh-oh. They ruined Star Tours. Yeah. Star Tours is fucking garbage now. Yeah. They got rid of the cute robot. Yeah. It's, what, what is it now? He, he's in... Um. They threw him in the line. Yeah. And it's C-3PO. 
And then it, it you go through two different worlds. And every time I went on, I went on a prequel world every single time. And I saw Jar Jar Binks. But sometimes they do it randomly. Times. So like in the like, like I like, never want to like, go to Disney again. Oh my god, that trip was miserable. It's like what two or three scenes it is because yeah. I got like uh freaking it was a prequel thing, and then I went to freaking Hoth. And I'm like, what the hell right. is going on? This is yeah. so weird. She talks about Hoth. I'm like, I was on fucking Naboo. <laughs> I went to Coruscant once. And I'm like, this is awful. This is the worst. They should have it like if they do a prequel thing, it should be all prequel. If they do a freaking sequel thing, mm -hmm. it should be all sequel. If they have I'm the actual okay Star Wars, all, all Star Wars. Just do original trilogy. It's the only one that's good, you idiots. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, are they incorporating Mandalorian stuff into the parks yet? I'll let yes. you know. Well, in this in the book of Boba Fett, the thing that you know opens the case and he has to put all of his armor and gear into yeah. that's at Disney World. You do that when you're with your stuff. Oh, yeah. Are we gonna go to that awful hotel? That oh hotel. my god! If you're throwing up the money, sure. Otherwise, I'd sooner die. I hate patreoncom slash hack the movie. My Patreon. Oh, sorry. Wow. My YouTube. My Patreon. <laughs> plug it. Um, my star. My uh, YouTube recommended is all Star Wars drama so yeah. like people were mad about that yeah it looks pretty lame trailer yeah and I will film like literally everything we do if someone sent me there and paid for it I would do whatever the hell they wanted me to do patreon.com slash hack the movies <laughs> please we need more patrons you could have Chewbacca telling you what to do in the, uh, in yeah. the ride for um, yeah the if you um, it's like a bunch of buttons that you have to sequence right or whatever instead of having uh, what's his face or whatever the talk Hondo. to you yes uh, talk to you the whole time you can actually have Chewbacca the whole time speaking to you obviously yeah. it's all Wookiee but <laughs> yeah, the whole time yeah wow look at that <laughs> clip that with like Chewbacca doing things <laughs> alright wow can you do I forgot breaker? the Rancor roar was used for other monsters because uh, mm -hmm. we got a, we have a big Dune episode coming up if you want to hear about Dune. good sci-fi and not this Bullshit. Um, and in the made-for-TV Dune movie, the ran the uh, sandworm makes the rancor scream. And I think they've given the rancor scream to the T Rex in the Jurassic Park <laughs> movies a few That's times. Funny. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. I think that ILM does stuff with those <clears throat> movies too, right? And Skywalker Sound. Yeah, I don't know. No. Probably. But yeah, that's it from us. Good goodbye, Book of Boba Fett. May the force be with you, <laughs> always, Tony. <sighs> It's called Slave One. I have so many things I want to talk about. I'm like going to get off track here. This is the case of a game that was far more popular in Japan than it was in the United States. They never <laughs> went to Mordor. What are you talking about? It's kind of weird. <laughs> but there's real detail. There's like wiring underneath. You know, they're, they're one out. and done. That's yeah. it. Sold yeah. out. So they're super hard to come by. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him, guys. Bring it back. Here oh, we go no, again. No, Round no, two. No. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.